All right, Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Akakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the elect. Okay, we are the Hebrew Israelites. We come out here week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of America, also known as Babylon the Great in the scriptures, man. Right. Okay, and um, there's lots of prophecy happening. And when you read in, uh, in the scriptures, all right, there is a distinction between this book and other books. Because this book, that's why it says in Isaiah, none shall want her mate. Because in this book, it actually goes into prophecies. Many of which that have come to pass, and many that will, oh, Revelation 1. Many that will shortly come to pass, man. Let's start off with that real quick. This is Revelation Reve 1. Yeah, the, the prophecies that are going to shortly come to pass. Yeah. It's Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Right, and Yahweh Shai is who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. So every time you've been praying to Jesus, really you've been praying to the wrong name. If you want to pray in sincerity, you need to be praying to Yahweh Shai, all right? Which is the name of, of the uh, only begotten son of the heavenly father. You got it, huh? The revelation of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, which the Most High gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. Right, so what's written in this book, man, is things that the Most High gave to Yahweh Shai, and without Yahweh Shai being our mediator, we're not going to be able to enter into the kingdom. We're not going to be able to enter in uh, to that rest. Because again, he is our intercessor to the Most High, man. Okay? He is the, he is the, uh, uh, the, uh, the priest after the order of Melchizedek, okay? That uh, pretty much supersedes <laughs> every, every other, uh, um, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Rank on this earth. Okay, and in the heavens for that matter. Yeah. He's only he's he is only uh, 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 second to the Most High only, man. Okay, outside of outside of the Most High, Yahweh Shai is the top spirit, man. Okay, so um, let's get what you what you uh, found if you found right. it. Yeah. This is uh, for, um, First Corinthians four verse nine. It says, "For I think that Yahweh has set forth us to the apostles last." Right. And um, apostle simply means uh, sent away or sent out, okay? And so the apostles were those that were the original uh, 12 disciples, starting with them, the 12 disciples of Yahweh Shai, minus Judas Iscariot, who was replaced with uh, 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 Mattathias, okay? They became the 12, what's known as the 12 apostles. And you also have other apostles, okay? For example, uh, Paul. Okay, and Barnabas, so on and so forth. They were apostles as well. Okay, so but the scriptures say the Lord set forth the apostles last, meaning we are the the laughing stock of society, man. Okay, go ahead. Number one it says back in First Corinthians four and nine it says, for I think that Yahweh Shah has set forth us the apostles last, mm -hmm. as it were appointed to death, as it were appointed to death, man. Because if they could have their way with us, they would put us to death. Right. right. Just like they put Yahweh Shai to death. And the scriptures say that some are gonna have uh gonna uh, be beheaded for the testimony of Yahweh Shai. But that's gonna be for the edification for the for the furthering of, of the of the good news, man. Right. Okay? Which most of us, like Paul said in 1 Corinthians 15, I show you a mystery. We shall not all die, but we shall be changed. That's right. See? Yeah, it says, for I think that Yahweh Shai set forth us the apostles last, as it were appointed to death, for we are made spectacles unto the world. See that? A spectacle. Well, let's get that word. Uh, a rock. Would you mind getting that word? Uh, spectacle in uh, 1 Corinthians 4. What is that? What, what verse? 9. 1 Corinthians 4 9. Get that word spectacle in the Greek, Bible for Shah. You can read it again. Uh, like in uh, 1 Corinthians 4, verse 9, it says, for I think that Yahweh Shai was shy has set forth us the apostles last, mm -hmm. as it were appointed to death. Right. For we are made a spectacle unto the world, and to angels, and to men. Woo! <laughs> okay, so we've been made a spectacle unto all, all things spiritual and physical, man. Mm -hmm. 
okay? And a spectacle basically um, is something that's in open, it's in the open, it's, 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 it's something that people marvel at. Right. They formulate their opinions on it, right? Um, here, let's give an example. Let's go to Matthew uh, 12 and uh, like start at like the 20th verse. Okay, so if I can hold that, you get that word, Baba Kusha. This is that word, uh, spectacle, uh, G2302, Theatron. The Theatron. Theatron, man. What, is it, what word does that sound like? Theater. A theater, man. See? Which, what do you do in a theater? It's a spectacle. You observing what is being shown on the screen. Yeah. You got it. Outline of biblical usage. It says, a theater, a place in which games and dramatic spectacles are exhibited and public assemblies held. It says Greeks use the theater also as a forum. All right? It says a place for public show, a general audience room. You see, a place for public show, man. We are out here in public, uh, pretty much um, proclaiming the, the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, and we are a laughing stock to these people. I missed one part of it, brother. Did you did you read something else that was of, of, of substance? Yeah, and yeah. I was, you know. <coughs> yep. And then we're going to get this example here. In Matthew uh, uh, 12, it says, uh, it said a, um, a place in which games and dramatic spectacles are exhibited and public assemblies held. Yeah, yeah, well, we're, we're out here assembling ourselves in the public, okay, and we're exhibiting the faith that, it, that, that uh, uh, our people lack, man, right. okay, which is, you know, because the thing is, um, our people are ashamed to proclaim the gospel, man. You know, oh, what's that scripture that says, be not therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord? Since you're in the blue letter of rock, you can pull that, we'll hold it, and then you can just feed it to Um uh, Let's get that one in, in Matthew, Bible This is Matthew 12, verse 22. It says, then was brought unto him one possessed with the devil. This is an example of a spectacle, right? All right, uh, call to read it again. Good. This is Matthew 12 and 22. It says, then was brought unto him one possessed with the devil. Yeah, because people at this time in the story, they knew that Yahweh Shai was able uh, to heal, okay? And when you possess with demons, um, that's a, you're sick, man. Okay, so they brought they brought to Yahweh Shai, that's what he's talking about. They brought to Yahweh Shai, the people brought to Yahweh Shai somebody that had legions and legions of demons on them. Spiritually, they, you know, they were possessed by demons, right? Go ahead. It says... One was possessed with the devil, blind and dumb. You see that? So when you have a when you when you are, are unable to speak, you're unable to see. Okay, um, that's a demon that's on you, man. Right. You see? Like, well, let's give an example. It's it's a spirit. It's a spiritual. It's a spiritual thing, man. Like, even with um with John uh, the the Baptist father, uh, what was it? Ze uh, Zechariah. Zechariah, right? Um, the angel put the put a dumb speak. He, he clave, he clave the clave Zechariah's tongue, man. Right. So where he couldn't speak. Now an angel and a demon is the same. Is the same spiritual. Um, the same spiritual uh, 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 entity in the sense of they're both spirits, right? One is on is on the left hand side for uh, uh, for, for evil, and one is on the right hand. We can put all the signs up. What is on the right hand side uh, uh, for righteousness, right? Okay, so the angel had the power to cleave uh, uh, the tongue of Zechariah. All right, same thing with this demon that we're reading about here had the power to make that man uh, dumb, meaning unable to speak, and blind, meaning unable to see. Shalom, brother. Shalom. Let's go and keep going. Back in Matthew 12, all right, and 22, it says, Then was brought unto him one possessed with a devil, blind and dumb, and he healed him insomuch that the blind and dumb both spake and saw. See that? So Yahweh Shai, his power was able to supersede that of that demon that was on that individual that he healed right. to the point where he could speak and see. Right. You see that? Right. And so that shows you, man, that these sicknesses, a lot of sicknesses, Esau wants to stick you with these injections, okay? But people don't realize, look, man, 
<laughs> a lot of things can be healed with prayer and fasting, man. Okay? With faith, you see? Because, um, again, you know, things happen in the spiritual before they do in the physical, man. You see? So let's go ahead and um, uh, get the next verse, and then we're going to finish that point on the spectacle, and then we'll get that one at the rock gate. Huh. Go ahead. Verse 23, it says, And all the people were amazed. You see that? Go ahead. Keep going. And said, is not this the son of David? Mm -hmm. But when the Pharisees well, heard... Hold on, wait, hold on. So they, they thought within themselves, well, hold on. Is this not the son of David now? David meaning right. the king, right. King David. Well, I thought that Mary was a virgin when she had him. So which one is it? You see, it was common knowledge back then that this whole, the whole idea of the, of the virgin birth thing, that was, that wasn't tied and twisted and, and fused with, with the, um, with the truth you know, until the time of Constantine, man, right, right, during the Byzantine right. Empire in the, in, the, in the 300s, 300 AD, 325 AD, or more more accurately, you know, that was when the the, the city state of Constantinople was declared a Christian na a Christian nation. You see, and and uh, um, uh, Constantine he was a, an Israelite, but he was off, man. Okay, because uh, again, you know, not just that doctrine of the uh, virgin birth but um the the uh trinity. the trinity okay and various other doctrines were established at that time hell you know the concept of what christians teach is hell so now we have to go back and undo and and break those things down okay because our people have basically been believing in these uh, um false narratives for a while but you got to go back into the into the um the scriptures man to see what it really says that's right okay so that's the point on the spectacle you know the people were amazed they were like whoa what okay so now going into the mindset that we should have right when it comes to being observed because it could be a demon on you saying damn i don't want my boss to be out here and walking down the street and see me he might fire me if he sees me reading the bible uh, 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 uh and, and speaking speaking the truth right you know he's an edomite so i definitely don't want to let me you know what i ain't even gonna go out to the camp I don't want nobody that I know to see. Well, that's being a shame, man. You have the spirit of fear. Oh, let's get um first Timothy or excuse me, second Timothy one and eight, man. You got the spirit of fear on you, man. You see? Okay, go ahead. let's let's get the first one though. Second Timothy. Well, okay, go ahead. Yeah. Second Timothy one and seven. For the most high have not given us the spirit of fear. Yeah. But of power and of love and of a sound mind. Yeah, power, man. Yahweh Shai said, well the scriptures say uh that we are that, that we are gods, man. Allah Hayyim, okay? Judges on the earth, okay? So the Most High gave us that spirit, man. When we come in that spirit of, of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, it's invigorating, it's empowering, okay? But when we come in the spirit of this world, it makes you like a reclusive mouse. You don't want to say nothing wrong because you don't want your check to get cut, you see? But we don't care about that, man. Because we know just like they persecuted the prophets back, back <laughs> thousands of years ago, all right, two thirds of our own people that are going to do the same thing today. You see? So let's get that uh, uh, scripture. Verse 8 Be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our outer one. Oh, oh, that's actually the one. Yeah. Oh, that's the spirit. Yeah. You see that? Yeah. Well, call it a read it again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, Second, sure. It's going to come out regardless. Uh, 2 Timothy 1 and 8. Be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our outer one nor of me his prisoner, but be thou partaker of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Yeah, 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 you break it down, brother. Okay, come on, I'm gonna read it again. Be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh And what's that testimony? The spirit of prophecy, right? You got even particular Israelites, they're afraid of the spirit of prophecy. They're afraid of actually uh, giving you the, the true raw and adulterated version of the other of the scriptures man right. such as america is babylon right. the so-called white man's esau edom right two-thirds of our people are going to die they're ashamed of the lord's testimony which right. the lord himself said in mark the eighth chapter right uh whoever is going to be ashamed of me in this wicked and adulterous generation i will be ashamed of right in the presence of uh my heavenly father and the holy host of angels man right and that day is coming, man. A lot of Israelites are going to be had in derision and having a dumbass face on a uh, dumbass look on their face, man, yeah. because they were ashamed of this testimony, man. Yeah. Hey, that that scripture in Daniel 12 chapter uh, expounds exactly on what the brother said, man. Okay, 
many are going to awake to righteousness, but also and a majority of our people are going to wake awaken uh, to shame and everlasting contempt when they realize, damn, I was being a, a scoffing two third shucking and driving nigga when I had the uh, liberty to actually get right with the most high. I chose to be a nigga. Man, damn, man. They're going to have that spirit of sorrow and true repentance, man. You see? This is Matthew chapter 10, verse 33. It says, but, what's, but whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny be before my Father, which is in heaven. You know? So you deny the Lord, man. You, you deny the Lord, but... Uh, you can you don't you don't have to necessarily open your mouth right. and say uh I, uh I denounce you how away you how you can do it through your actions man all right don't want to be seen around the prophets you know don't want to be seen standing you know on the other side with a garment on right you know don't want to do don't want to show your face in the camera you know so yeah through your actions you deny the lord man yep. even through what uh, the, uh you know not following his law statutes and commandments yep. you see and what did Yahweh Shai say? If you don't confess <laughs> him, Yahweh Shai said, uh, whoever does not, uh, uh, is not willing to confess me before men, the same will I not confess before my Father which is in heaven. Roughly paraphrasing, man. So it's okay if you too, if you, if you too embarrassed to, to profess Yahweh Shai, because the thing is, in order to be able to understand the importance of Yahweh Shai, the name, the understanding of your Israelite, the Most High had to be working with you at a, a, at least on a certain level to, to be able to comprehend these things. Remember, we, we fell away from the understanding of who we were as a punishment, man. The Lord took away our, 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 our heritage, man. So be able to, to, to taste that and then cast it off to the side, that shows you that you were never, you were never really meant for this thing, man. Luke 9 and 62. Hey, uh, real quick. Okay, yeah, uh, like that, uh, you know, like you just went into, Basically, this is setting you up when you walk by. And like you say, we just went into being a spectacle. So we know that this is like a, a, the actual event that we're having here through the spirit of Yahweh Shimei Shai. So when you see us, and then you just basically not paying no attention to it, and just basically going about your business, still being in the world, you're being marked. And I think in the same chapter, uh, uh, Matthew 10, around the 34th, 35th verse, that's when the Lord, like you said, he's starting the vision. All right, he's basically been a uh, set of variant amongst yeah. one. Yeah, yeah thirty-five. Yeah. This set of variants yeah, among you, you, uh, one another. Oh, actually, no. Yeah, yeah. All right. This is uh, Proverbs eight and seventeen. I love them that love me, and those that seek me early shall find me. That's right, man. So Yahweh Shai said he loves those that love him. Just like in uh, Saint John the tenth chapter, he said, "What my sheep hear my voice." Right. You read the second part of that verse, Bible Shah? He said he loves. He loves those that love him, man. Oh, and what does the scripture say in Psalm? I hate them, oh Lord, they hate thee. You see, so it's an even balance, man. Mm -hmm. People, love, you know, are talking about hate speech. Oh, we don't think that Kyrie Irving, Irving has any bone of hate within his body because we, after talking to him and, and, and examining him, we found out that he, he doesn't hate. Well, look, man, the Lord hates, so we hate. Right. You see? Because how can you have love without hate? Right. How can you have good? Without evil, man. You see? So the Lord is a just power, man. Uh, uh, go ahead, brother. Oh, sorry. Riches and honor are with me. Yeah, jewel for riches and righteousness. Yeah, Con. As a matter of fact, could you um, read that that first verse that you read again? All right. Uh, Proverbs 8 and 17. I love them that love me, and those that seek me early shall find me. Con. And the scriptures also say, all that um, hate me love death. Talking about those that hate Yahweh Shai. They love death, man. Just like Cain, he couldn't get he couldn't get that bone of, of iniquity out of out of him. He couldn't shake that he couldn't shake that that demon off of him of jealousy of his brother, man. You see, that's why he was the, he became the first murderer and and he murdered his own brother. You see, he murdered his own brother, man. And that same spirit is in Esau Edom today. Okay, but you got the you got you got that that bloodline that seed of the serpent. Uh, a, a nation of people trying to uh, bring everybody together, man. He has everybody in a trick bag that doesn't uh, um, believe in his truth, man. Okay? Because the scriptures say, he that is not with me is against me. Or he brought out, what, three or quoted three or four scriptures to prove that, look, man, that there is no gray area. It's either you with your Howard Shire or not. Okay? Right. You yeah, got some precepts? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you got one? Okay, go ahead, Bob Shire. 
Now this is Romans 1 and 16, where I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Mashiach. Mm -hmm. Or is the power of Yahweh to salvation? Yeah, he said he said he said he is not ashamed of the gospel of Yahweh Shah, man. You see that? Paul was that Romans, right? Romans God. Yeah, so that was Paul, man. And Bible Shah, yeah, you can quote it and read it again. Uh, yeah, go ahead, right, Bible Shah. Romans 1 and 16. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Mashiach. For it is in the power of Yahweh unto salvation to everyone that believe it. You see that? It's the, it's the Lord's will that we were able to um, uh, receive this truth, man. That's right. Okay? You know, uh, uh, Paul uh, uh, Paul said that he watered and, and Apollo, uh, he planted, Apollo's water, vice versa. But the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, gives the increase. He's the one that allows us to receive the understanding, and he takes the understanding away. You see? The, the giver of life and death, and doesn't he, he doesn't control what you believe and don't believe? You're... You're, you're sadly mistaken, man. Right. Okay? Because uh, what is that? Proverbs uh, 20, as well as the si uh, 16th chapter, goes into how uh, uh, one of them uh, goes into how the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord, and the other one pretty much has the same sentiment, man. You see? Is that it on that? Brother? Okay. Okay, go ahead. To the Jew first, and also to the Greek. Yep. Yep. To, the, to, the, to those that are of the circumcision that knew who they were at that particular time, and those that, that were um, that were Israelite foreigners, those that had been removed from their customs and mannerisms of the, uh, like the scriptures say, the, um, the uh, uh, what's the word, the scripture that, the scripture that basically says that, that, we, that we were taken away from our, from our heritage as a people, you know, those individuals who represent us today because none of us were raised in the customs of the Passover and keeping the law, and the Sabbath and things like that, okay. And so, we are those Gentiles coming back uh, 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 in the reincarnation, man. All right. You know, most of the believers, um, and even during the time, you know, of Paul's ministry, they were they were um, uh, Israelites, man. I'm sorry, they were uh, Israelite foreigners. They were, you know, Greeks, if you will. You know. Um, is there? That was it on yours, right? Yeah. Okay, Khan. Okay, Khan. This is Acts chapter 24, verse 14. This is whenever they was uh, accusing Apostle Paul, you know, lying on him, basically. But he's, this is what he said. He says, But this I confess unto thee. He said, He confess unto thee that after the way which they call hearsay, so worship I the Most High, with the select, so worship I the power of my fathers. Believing all things which are written in the law and in the prophets. Right, right. You know? Yeah, man. Because basically hearsay is like uh, gossip, you know. So you have people that talk about what they think we believe in because that's hearsay. They thought, they, they heard that we believe that the white man is the devil. They heard that we believe that we are the true uh, uh, Jews, Jews according to the Bible. Right. They heard that we believe uh, that Jesus is black. You see? That's hearsay. You know? And so there was a lot of that going on during the time uh, uh, of, of Paul's ministry, of the, you know, the apostles at that time ministry. You know? Just like how you have today. And Paul was basically testifying of what he believed in to verify that yes, I do believe these things. We, you know, we do uh, believe that uh, you have to be uh, baptized in the name of Yahweh Shai spiritually in order to enter into the kingdom. Yes. We do believe that only uh, Israelites can make it. Yes, we do believe that Esau, the self-proclaimed white man on the earth, is the devil that the Bible speaks of. Yes, we do believe that the uh, RFID micro CH to the IP is the MOTB. Right. And if you don't know them acronyms, this is probably your first time watching. But we got the sign to illustrate what we're talking about. Matter of fact, uh, who's holding post? Let's get a uh, let's get a, uh, a chip sign real quick, man. You know. Go ahead, bro. Uh, just, uh, this is John chapter 7, verse 38. It says, He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said. Woo! Okay, and these are the words of Yahweh Shah. That's in the red letter, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he that believeth on me, talking about Yahweh Shah, those that believe in Yahweh Shah, not Jesus. Okay, because we can go into the history of Jesus if we need to, all right, of the, the, uh, the, 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 the deity Serapis Christus, yeah, right, yeah. okay, that was that was uh, uh, basically formulated 
before you how I even came on the scene okay well, we can go into the history if we need to which brothers already have but we talking about the real the real he is the deliverer he is the savior the real Yahweh Shai okay the son of the only begotten son of the most high he is the one that we need to believe on right That's right go ahead he says out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water Woo, man let's get um uh, Isaiah 44 in the first chapter man okay because um it says out of his belly okay not now does that mean our stomachs are going to open up and just start flowing you know uh fire hydrant gushes of river coming out no okay this is a spiritual thing man okay just like the baptism thing you know yeah john the baptist he baptized with water and how uh, uh, and, and and um john the baptist said yeah i baptize the water but he that cometh after me who is greater than me is going to baptize with fire and the holy spirit so meaning that look you know that's gonna pur he's gonna purge our spirits he's gonna try our souls man you see that's what baptism uh, uh really is that word baptizo in the greek uh which is baptism it goes into uh basically to be fully immersed and to be uh submerged continually not just dunked and dipped dipped in the sauce and take it right back out and to return back to your vomit but to be fully immersed and changed by that immersion you see um, damn. What about the, okay, the water, Isaiah chapter 44, starting at the top. Yet now hear, O Jacob, my servant, and Israel, whom I have chosen. Yes. Thus said Yahweh that made thee and formed thee from the womb, mm -hmm. which will help thee. Fear not, O Jacob, my servant, and thou, Jeshurun, whom I have chosen. Right. The Lord told us to not fear, man, because this world. Yo, the conditions that we're in right now, it can, it's gonna get well. Okay, if you thought it was bad during um during 2020 when the pandemic happened, just wait until the second the second wave comes out, man. Yeah, that was yeah, it was a precursor. No, we're not going back to normal, man. We're not going back to how it was. And uh, you know, Obama was the president, was president. The gas was a dollar eighty nine for unle regular unleaded. You know, and the loaf of bread was a uh, dollar forty nine. That shit's dead, man. Okay? Yeah. The good old, the quote unquote, the good old days, man. Okay? We in the, we in the last days of the last, which we've been in the last days since your house shot came on the scene. But we're at the tail end of that bad boy, man. Right. Okay, this is the year of the turning up of your how about shot. All right? Go ahead, brother. Verse 3 it says, For I will pour water upon him that is thirsty. Woo! And man. floods upon the dry ground. You see that? And that links up with what 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 chapter comes to mind that Apostle Sahar goes into all the time when we read that verse, brothers. Read, read, read that part again, Bob. Isaiah 44, verse 3. For I will pour water upon him that is thirsty, and floods upon the dry ground. Right. So what chapter comes to mind when we read that verse right there? See? Ezekiel 37, man. The, yeah. Yeah, the dry bones coming together, you know to form sinews and then us sinews coming together to form flesh which is representative of us coming into the understanding from a place of destitution mentally spiritually you see you got a free step okay bro, we'll shot. Oh, oh, we'll, we'll come back to it okay. yeah it's, uh jeremiah chapter 2 verse 13 for my people have committed two evils they have forsaken me the fountain of living waters mm. and have healed them out cisterns Woo. broken cisterns that can hold no water you got it brother you can break it down good good all right um uh, that fountain yeah. of living water that y'all was going into you know that's that that's the word of you know how much you know shot all right and, and we took all those broken cisterns with those other those other gods other deities those like such as uh jesus christ and all that you know those, those and they say they can't hold no water Right. Yeah. Yeah. Because because uh, that's a beautiful verse, bro. I gotta have you read that one again, Bible Kashan. God, God. This uh, Jeremiah chapter two, verse thirteen. Mm -hmm. For my people have committed two evils; mm -hmm. they have forsaken me, the fountain of living waters, mm -hmm. and have hewed them out cisterns, broken cisterns that can hold no water. You see that? So not only have they forsaken you, how about you, Yahweh Shai? Because what does John one and one say? In the beginning was the Word. Okay. And the Word. Uh, uh, was a power and the word was with the powers man all right Allah I am so Yahweh Shai is the word okay he represents the word of the Heavenly Father he is the he is the the um, 
the, uh, the conduit in which the Most High's word goes out, okay? Through, through his spirit, he is the, the, the comforter, all that, right? So, not only did they forsake that, Yahweh but they also sought after other gods to replace the Lord, you know? <laughs> which are, I mean, come on, that's that's a double whammy right there. So yeah, man, that's the reason why a lot of our people are, utterly, that's why you see a lot of Jake's walking down the street, completely bugged out of their mind. It's 42 degrees outside, they walking in some damn uh, 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 shoes, with no, with no soles in them. They just got the top part of the shoe with no socks. Okay, because that's a curse unto them, man. You know, you got to put the Bible shot. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 64. And Yahweh shall scatter thee among all people from one end of the earth even unto the other, and there thou shalt serve other gods, Woo. which neither thou, thy fathers, thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. See that? And our people don't realize that they're in that they are in that state of a spiritual stupor, man. Okay, he that uh, walked away from uh, from uh, from understanding, okay, remain, remain in the congregation, congregation of the dead. You see, and who are the, who are the 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 dead in the scriptures? By and large, that's talking about the heathen, man. So you basically like a heathen to the Most High. You see. Oh, also, I don't know what chapter. I don't know if it's Jeremiah nine or. Whatever, but it's towards the end of one of those earlier chapters in Jeremiah where the Lord uh, talks about the uncircumcision of Edom and the, and the Philistines and the other nations and Israel being un uncircumcised in heart. So the Most High likened uh, Israel's um, disobedient nature. We're going to go back to that scripture that you, uh, that you the first priest that you had. The Most High kind. The Most High likened um, Israel's disobedient nature to uh, uh, basically uh, to us being a heathen, man. Okay, because the, the heathen. They don't have the law, statutes, and commandments. Okay, so it's like whenever you disobey a, uh, 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 an order, it's like almost as if you didn't even have you didn't even have no orders. You acting as if nobody told you anything. You see? So, yo, man, our people they're gonna get a rude awakening when all hell starts breaking loose, man. You know? And that spirit of of austerity always comes out during the winter time when it's cold. You know, that's when bitches start clinging on to the to the men. You know what I'm saying? They, or they buy a, a puppy if they're lonely, fat, and ugly. That you know they can't get no man. Then they buy a pet that they can cuddle up with. You know, but it's about to get real bad out here, man. For you proud individuals, man. Okay. Yeah, kind. Just uh, just to back up what you were saying about you know when, when you're without, without the law, statutes, and commandments, you're basically dead. This is Ephesians chapter two, verse one. And you have been quickened, made alive, who were dead in trespasses and sins. Woo. Man, being quickened, like you said, brother, means to be made alive. And Yahweh Shai did that for those who believe in him in these times. See, uh, <laughs> man, well, the scriptures say, I quoted it earlier. I, qu I quoted uh, first uh, uh, Corinthians 15 earlier. I'm going to quote it again. Okay. Matter of fact, um, that's either in, well, it also talks about that in uh, 1 Thessalonians 4 as well. But basically how the dead are going to be raised up first, man. You know, meaning that if you die on a physical level, just like that scripture that uh, Thomas Ma brought out last night in 2nd Maccabees 6. Like, yeah, we're dying a physical death, but spiritually, you can't kill my spirit, man. Right. You see? And that integrity lasts uh, uh, with us forever, man. The most I remember is how we go out. <laughs> you know, the decisions that we make when, when, when our life is on the line, man. You see? And he takes that into account in the next reincarnation. Did the edification come out on the precept that you... You want it to point come out? Okay. Um, this brother had a precept, and then we'll go back to that. Idea. This is the edified point of who the dead is. This is Baruch chapter 3, verse 10. It says, How happeneth it, Israel, that thou art in thy enemy's land, that thou art waxing old in a strange country, that thou art defiled with the dead? Woo! Man, does that mean that Israel was living amongst the land of of skeletons, like, like skeletors, uh, Skeletor from uh, He-Man. No, <laughs> they were living amongst those who are spiritual, like the brother said, zombies, man. You know, and a lot of our people are spiritual zombies too. You know, look, this is how you know who's a spiritual zombie. You see the people walking past the fountain of living waters. If you dead, what you need water for? Right. You see, these people don't see the value of what uh, 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 the Lord is putting out because it's only for his elect. That's the only reason why we're out here. Like, case in point, most of you brothers out here, when y'all, you know, uh, were being woken up, 
you were watching camp videos, you know, of a brother that was in the spirit of the Lord <laughs> and breaking down the scriptures and then you inquire further and then that spirit jumped on you. You see, being around the prophets is contagious, man. Um, there's a um, there's an account in 1 Samuel, I think it's like around um, the 8th chapter. Let me see, I'm trying to think it's like around the 8th chapter. Basically that same chapter where, it might be the ninth chapter, where, uh, where Saul was anointed king. And it talks about how um, when, you know, when Samuel told uh, Saul that he was going to be king, you know, he told Saul to go to a particular place where prophets were going to meet him. And basically when he went to that place and the prophets met him, that spirit of the Most High jumped on Saul to prophesy with those prophets. To the point where it was oh, a yeah. saying, that Saul also amongst the prophets, cut, cut. you see, even though he eventually fell off, the spirit of prophecy is contagious, man. Right. You're just being around, that's why... That's why brothers say, you know, be around the fire, be around the flame, because when you low in the spirit, that flame can re can rejuvenate you. You know what I'm saying? Brothers got uh, points as well. I mean, I know, basically joining what you're saying, because it's, it's written in a place where it says that uh, how can how can one make eat if he's alone? Yeah, yeah. you know. Yeah. So it, 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 that's, that's going into what the brother said, man. Yeah. You know, because that's why you know brothers, you know, be around brothers. You know. Yeah. Because yes. we ain't iron sharpening their thighs. Right. Right. When two or three are gathered together in my name, uh, like the scripture says, Yahweh Shai said, there he is in the midst, right? Uh, Malak, you got something? I had that account for you. Yeah, yeah. Let's get the edification on it, bro. I'm trying to remember which chapter. Was it eight or nine? It was ten. Ten? Okay, cool. Ten and ten. Uh, okay, kind. You want the point or? Well, no, Willie, we can get a little bit, bro. I mean, yeah, it's, it's a narrative, so it's all good. You go uh, up like four or five verses if you need to. Okay. This is um, First Samuel chapter ten. Uh, yeah, chapter ten, verse. Three, then shalt thou go on forward from thence, and thou shalt come to the plain of Tabor, uh, and there shall meet thee three men. Right, like we said earlier, Samuel was giving Saul instructions, right? Go ahead. Going up to God to Bethel, one carrying three kids, and another carrying three loaves of bread, and another carrying a bottle of wine. Right, to make that sacrifice, you know? Because back in the ancient world, you know, we had to make the we had the, the sacrificial law. It was um it was in a full, full effect, man. You know, go ahead. Verse four, and they will salute thee, and give thee two loaves of bread, which thou shalt receive of their hands. And after that, thou shalt come to the hill of God, where there is uh, the garrison of the Philistines. And it will come to pass, where thou art come thither to the city, that thou shalt meet a company of prophets. With a palstry and the tabaret and the pipe and the harp before them, and they shall prophesy. Woo! You see that? It said they had come with a psaltery and a tabaret and a harp, meaning that, like a lot of the uh, prayers that we pray, you know, in the spirit, in the um, in the holy tongue, the Lashawan Kodash, it really is is music, man. Like you know, like a, a lot of those psalms. Well, song, <laughs> psalms means means songs, the songs of the Most High. You see, that were you know written, I'll say. Uh, 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 as prayers and, and songs to the Most High, right? Go ahead. Verse six, and the spirit of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai will come upon thee, and thou shalt prophesy with them, and shall be turned into another man. See that? You see that when you when you prophesy, it turns you into a it put it puts a spirit, just like how uh, Yahweh Shai you know took that spirit of blindness and dumb and, and dumbness off of that uh, man in Matthew twelve. You know, he became another man when he had a demon get cast off of him. When we start prophesying, man, it like it, 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 it like cleanses us. It like purifies us, you know, to a degree where we're like unrecognizable to the people that knew us prior to. That's right. You know? Uh, that was the point on that cool. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, Baba Kusha. It's uh, the book of Psalms, chapter 68, verse 11. Yahweh gave the word. Great was the company of those that published it. Psalm 68, verse 11. Yahweh gave the word. Great was the company of those that published it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yahweh Shai gave the words uh, 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 to the uh, to the prophets to basically uh, uh, speak his will, to speak what he wants on the earth. The Most High ain't gonna come down in a chariot, okay, and um, and, and do what he did in, in, in Exodus 20, 
okay, and scare, and scare the hell out of all the Israelites, okay, just by his presence. He say, gonna yeah go ahead I'm, yeah when that happened Jake didn't want that to happen anyway right Jake will say only God could judge me who are you to judge but when the Most High speaks himself Jake is like no nah, no nah, I'd rather talk to Moses yeah yeah well that's that's why you know that's why um they were always prophets man even before yeah. Moses man yeah. Hebrews uh, uh, one and one God. you know what I'm saying there was always prophets on the scene so that's the world began Con. so it's like you know like you said brother when when the Most High did that that's why I said that like when the Most High did that. Jake, you know, our people, when we say Jake, we're talking about Jacob or uh, whose name was changed to Israel. He, you know, he's, he's the, the original, the originator of the 12 tribes of Israel. So it's just short for our people, basically, when we say Jake. But, you know, Jake didn't want, when you read the account in Exodus 20, Jake didn't want the Lord to uh, come down and talk with him. They're like, look, you know, it, it was a, it was a, it was a horn. It was a loud noise. It was thundering like, like earlier this morning. It was raining, but before that, I don't know where you brothers, if you heard it, but it was thunder like over there where we stay at. It was lightning and thundering and stuff, you know, but imagine that times 144,000, man. Like it was a terrible, it was a terrifying sight, you know? So yeah, our people, man, you know, they, they don't know what they asked for, man. You know, when they, when they, when they talking about, oh, well, I don't need to go, uh, uh, I don't need to pray to, to uh, anybody other than the heavenly father. I, I don't need anybody else. I don't need people say that you know the the, uh, the the old testament only israelites you know the torah only israelites okay you got demons on you man you see and that shows you why that shows you man you know what no i ain't gonna get the channel flag go ahead brother yeah the most i always had a mediator man all right there was a mediator in the old covenant yahweh shah is the mediator in the new, new testament man so for you to say i only deal with the most high what was that description man are you at melchizedek you at adam adam was a priest all right, the most I never just dealt directly with every single person. Like, but you can just whatever you want, just ask me and I'll do it. No, you have a mediator, man. This, uh, this is Luke chapter one, verse sixty-nine. Cut, cut. This is Luke chapter one, verse sixty-eight. It says, "Blessed be the Lord, power of Israel." Israel, not everybody. That's another thing, man. The Lord only deals with Israel, the God of Israel. God of Israel. It says, "For He had visited and redeemed His people." Everybody. His people, his people, and had raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. Woo, come on, man. See, your spiritual spidey senses should be tingling when you hear that. <laughs> he raised up a horn of what? Horn of salvation. Right, man. What does Yahweh's name mean? He is a deliverer. He is a savior. That's right. Okay, and a horn represents power, man. You see? So Yahweh, he's going to come with power. You see? He's gonna come with glory. He's gonna come with what vengeance in his heart. You see, Isaiah 66 uh, and 15, man. You see, and that day is coming, man. It's coming way sooner than 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 a lot of our. Well, the Lord, or a lot of our people don't want the Lord to come back ever. The demons are on them so hard to where they just want to stay like the demons that were in uh, demoniac, demoniac or whatever. The dude, you know, Legion. You know, those demons. They didn't. They didn't want to be casted out. <laughs> of that of their host they were like oh please like you're gonna torment us before the time well damn if you're gonna cast us out lord please just just, put, <laughs> just cast us into the swine and you see what the swine did they all they all jumped ship man they all said fuck this you know i'm <laughs> i'm finna so if if the animals had the the demons on them that, that a lot of our people have man they would they would be off in the wall you seen a lot of animals off of themselves man this is a highly like you know this is a highly uh, uh spiritual uh conf conflicting time that we're in right now man you know because i i could say it's a highly demonic time but it's also a highly spiritual time man on the right hand side because we're coming into uh hanukkah you know the feast the feast of hanukkah uh you know the story of uh, the maccabean revolt how they uh um, basically dedicated uh, uh the temple which is what uh And he, uh, uh, in Hebrew, the Hebrew word for Hanukkah, because Hanukkah is just a transliteration of of the Hebrew word, right? Kanak, you see, Kanak, which means dedication. So, you know, you go into it, you know, the dedication of the, of the temple that was defiled by, um, oh, by Esau. <laughs> Duh, hello, how could I forget? By Antiochus Epiphanes, man, the devil. You see, so when you really start going into the history. 
starts making a lot of sense, man. A lot of things start making a lot of sense. You know? Anyway, um... Yeah, he, uh, he attacked our people on the Sabbath, man. Right. He saw us been a coward. He, he'll wait for the opportune time. He doesn't fight straight. He sent missiles from long range. Yeah, try long to shoot range. you from out the sky. He'll wait till you, you observe in the most high and rush in and kill your women. He, he's just a devil. Yep. And he's been a devil. Yep. Uh, it's, in verse 7, he says, As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. You know? So the Lord has always, always had a mediator, you know? You know, he, and he spoke, he speaks by the mouth of his prophets. Like now, we, we're, we're in this devil's kingdom, you know, knocking his shit loose, you know, from, from the inside out, man. You know? Because we're in our land of captivity. All right? And in our land of captivity, we have remembered ourselves. All right? And now we're calling on the Lord, you know, keeping the Sabbath to the best of our ability, keeping the law, statutes, commandments to the best of our ability, you know? And Lord willing, you know, hey, hey bro, we, we get out of here, man. So, hey, sooner than we believe. Yeah. You oh, see? We gonna get, like, the Lord gonna deliver us out of here. Yeah. Man. Somebody's getting delivered. ASAP. Right? It's written. And it ain't you heathens. Yeah. You know? Well, when the heathen, but the thing is, when the heathen, when the heathen uh, um, are under our rulership, they're gonna be happy. <laughs> right. Yeah. First thousand years. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. They're gonna be, well, no, well, yeah, they're gonna be happy after the first thousand years, but they're gonna be happy. A lot of heathen men are catching hell right now. You know what I'm saying? This is this is this is this is Israel's judgment and Israel's captivity. You know what I'm saying? But the uh, the, the scriptures say in uh, in Romans um, uh, eight, I believe, that the whole creation uh, groaneth and lamenteth uh, until the manifestation, the manifestations of the sons of the power, man. You see? So yeah, like it's gonna take a thousand years to build up the kingdom, okay? But um, as soon as this devil uh, because what does it say when when the righteous okay. are, are in authority? Oh, you got it. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, Bob. What's up? Hey, Mike, can you just like straighten out? Can you see how the portal is like? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, there we go. Because if this part's straight, then the rest is going to be straight. It's uh, Proverbs chapter 29, verse 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. Yeah. But when the righteous, the, my bad, brother. Go ahead, finish it, Bob. Right, but when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. So when the righteous are in authority, the 144,000 underneath uh, 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 Yahweh Shai and then King David and the rest of the 144,000, man, you know, that's going to be a righteous kingdom. You know, Daniel um, uh, 2 and 44, it talks about how when, 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 when um, basically that stone that is going to smite the feet of that um, uh, uh, statue that was talked about in, in uh, Daniel 2, when, when, when it smites the statue, uh, from the uh, from the bottom, the, this whole wicked uh, uh, empire, this whole wicked kingdom is gonna crumble, man. Okay, and then it's gonna uh, uh, set up a kingdom that's gonna be eternal, okay, and righteous. Yahweh I said that I have come uh, to give uh, life, and and that we may have it more abundantly, man. You see, because yeah, we're technically where our hearts are beating in our chest, but this is not this is not what life is all about. Yahweh Shai thought. You know, and you, you we, the proof of that is in uh, Wisdom of Solomon, the second chapter, the last like two verses. Okay, we ain't we ain't really living until we're immortal. <laughs> you know, uh, what points y'all got on precepts? I mean, this is a uh, okay. This is just a. Okay, I got my back to level two something. This is uh, Deuteronomy 18 and 18. I will raise them up a prophet from among their brethren, like unto thee, and so I get like unto thee and will put my words in his mouth and he shall speak unto them all that I have commanded him. Yeah, it's to back you up, you know, saying, hey, we are those prophets, man. And these are, aren't our words. These are the words of Yahweh Shem, Yahweh Shem. You know, the reason why they don't take us serious because we ain't landing in Dallas in private jets. You know, we ain't flying first class to city to city and pulling in stretch memos, man. You know, we the least suspected people to be prophets of the Lord, man. Well, they can still they can still go to the supermarket and Gun. get them and get them get them a hot plate, man. Gun. You know? Edom can still walk around here with his nose up. You Gun. see? That's what that, that's why they you know that's why they don't they, they don't they don't feel pressed yet, you know? But going back to what this brother brought out, uh uh get the uh, revelations uh six and four, where it says uh, he uh, have power to take peace from the earth, y'all brother. It's the book of Revelation. 
chapter 6, verse 4. And there went out another horse that was red. That was red, man. All right. Talking about what? Esau eat him. Go ahead. And power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth. All right. Because this, hey, this devil was given dominion, right? He, he, he was given what the, his blessing, bro. You know, that he, that he will rule, you know, for a little season. And what he has done in his rulership, he has taken peace from the earth, man. The whole earth mourn, right? Isn't it written? And uh, one of you brothers can grab it, uh, Isaiah the 14th chapter, where it says that uh, uh, the tree shall no feller has come up against us. You know, look what he's done to the earth, man. You have sink earth. You, you have sinkholes in the earth, man. All right? You know, the animals mourning, man. You know, how you take a, 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 a wild animal and put him in a cage, you know? That's evil. That's wickedness, man. Yo, they got that, turtles that, with herpes, man. What the fuck? Oh, they, yeah, got, yeah. they got all sorts of fish oh, no. that are coughing up plastic. This oh, man yeah, put yeah. plastic and styrofoam all over the earth. That's wicked, man. Yeah. Yeah. Like the brother said, man, he saw go take the animal out of his natural habitat, put it in a, put it in a uh, artificial, uh, environment they didn't say they, they better off here yeah, yeah. their lifespans yeah. they, you know they'll live longer live with us yeah. uh -huh. that'll yeah. be fucking depressed man yeah. you know you go, and when you go to the select door and he did that with jake oh we yeah. took y'all from africa y'all were living in huts <laughs> swinging from trees now y'all are better off because we gave you white jesus to clean yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah meanwhile we taught him how to bathe we gave him our, our agriculture he came over here gag kept him alive mm -hmm. this man was picking lice off of his chest hair. Yep. <laughs> he has no idea how to live, but he's going to teach the earth the right way to be. That's madness, man. He, he didn't have a language. He was in a cave. He's a troglodyte, which means cave dweller, but you got it, right? Yeah. I got one back. That's uh, why, and, 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 yeah, and, and that's why he needs to be taken out of power, man. All right? He was, hey, bro, it was all through the Lord, man, because the Lord had to teach us a lesson, man. He took the basis of men and set him over what? The most holy nation on the planet Earth, man. Go ahead, brother. It's Isaiah chapter 14, verse 7. The whole earth is at rest and is quiet. And hey, bro, we, hey, we can't wait for that. We can't wait for the whole earth at rest, man, because what it, uh, it speaks in 2 Nations 11 chapter, it says that the, uh, the earth shall be refreshed. Go ahead, brother. And it says, they break forth into singing. Come on. Yea, the fir trees rejoice at thee, and the cedars of Lebanon sing, since thou art laid down. No feller is come up against us. Right, so the trees, when this devil is when this devil is cast out of the earth, you know, the yeah. trees are gonna the trees are gonna rejoice that no fella has come up against us, man. Because what is this what is this guy has done, man, over there in the uh, uh, in the Amazons? He his deforestation project, man. You know, he tops down all the trees, man. The Lord has an ecosystem set up here. And he totally defies it, man. You know? You take all the bottom feeders out of the ocean and, 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 and make them a delicacy, man. You know, this hey, this this dude has to be taken out, out, out of power, and the only way that's gonna happen is through y'all by some y'all shot. That's right. Got a piece of book on the back. This the book of matter of fact. Since you just said that, let me yeah, uh, Sirach chapter ten. Yeah, Khan Khan. Let me start at the top and jump to eight. You can go to you can start at the top, brother. Khan Khan. Uh, Sirach chapter ten, verse one. A wise judge will instruct his people. A wise judge is gonna instruct his people. Don't do this. Don't do that, man. All right, if you do this, this is what's going to happen. This is the result of this, you know? Go ahead, brother. Uh, I was going to say, uh, a wise judge ain't going to just tell his people, you're free to do whatever you want to do. Right, That's man. unwise. You're going to have some type of order, man. Boundaries. You know? Yes. Yeah, like, if, you, if you, you're committing sodomy, that's an unclean act, man. You know? Go ahead. But it's, hey, it's, 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 it's blast to be, you know, the, the, the land of the free here, and you can do whatever you want to do here, man. Go ahead, brother. Yeah, let's, let's liberate women. Great, great idea. Oh, man. That's now they all have herpes. They all have HPV. They're all bugged out. They're alcoholic. But they're free. They're liberated. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead, brother. It says, a wise judge will instruct his people, and the government of a prudent man is well ordered. Go ahead. As the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers. All right. So this devil, he's a, he's a natural born sodomite. So it, it, like, it, he, he places this feminine spirit here on the planet Earth, man. And everybody's walking around here, even the men. That's why it's no real it's no real men walking around here, except the men of the Lord, you know? Because that feminine spirit, because hey, the scripture says, no effeminate shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, man. 
You know? So the real men are walking the planet Earth are the 144,000, man. The hopeful elect, man. All right? And, it, and, and this devil here, you know, this this is how he rule. You know? So so is the judge, so is the people, man. Go ahead. And what manner of man the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. He's a victim. Everybody's a victim now. Everybody's emotional, you know? Every Everybody, nobody understands me, woe is me. You know, this is how this devil is. He plays the victim, you know? He blames everything on everybody else, man. Nah, no you accountability. Know? No accountability. That's right, man. You know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Go ahead, brother. Nah. It says, an unwise king destroyeth his people. Yeah, that's right. And he is destroying his people, man. Even his own nation he's destroying, man. I believe his nation is, is, is they 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 they, they uh they at the peak for uh overdosing opioids, I believe. You know? They they're, they're the way, hey, bro, eat, eat them be a hey, a homeless man. You know? Like here it is in your own kingdom, bro. You stray you, you down to the bottom just like uh Jake is, man. You know? Let this brother finish this. Go ahead. It says, an unwise king destroyed his people, but through the prudence of them which are in authority, the city shall be inhabited. Uh -huh. The power of the earth is in the hand of Yahweh, and in due time, he will set over one that is profitable. That's right, man. He says in due time, the Lord's going to set one that's profitable over the earth. And, and, and who's, more, who's more profitable than Yahweh Shai, man? Right? And so what, man? Hey, what, what the scripture says in Daniel the seventh chapter, it says, uh, Israel shall take the kingdom. Alright? And, and and what, man? We're gonna rule in righteousness, bro. Alright? Because these laws, statutes, and commandments will be written in our inward parts, man. You know? And that's and, and that's and that's what we that's what we, we, we pray for. We hasten in the day of that, man. That new Jerusalem. Alright? Where every, where all Israel shall be righteous. You see? What you have, brother? It's uh, Sirach chapter 14, verse 5. He that is evil to himself, to whom will he be good? Hey, he's evil to him own self, man. All right? When you even set up this type of economy knowing that it's going to crash, you're evil to your own self. You see? You knowing the prophecies, you knowing that who you are, the elites, they know who they are. But yet, when you think you're going to come against the Heavenly Father and His Son, you're evil to yourself. You see? So what the hell you think he's gonna do to you, Jake's? You know, he's def hey, he's definitely cracking down on Jake, man. You see? Go ahead. He shall not take pleasure in his goods. He shall not take pleasure. Go ahead, brother. What you gonna say? Yeah, I was gonna say when you look at what Esau does to his own so-called middle class, he destroyed all these small businesses. That's he's right. got these Edomites strung out on opioids, like the brother mentioned earlier. That's what he does to his own people. So why would you go to him and expect him to help a people that he hates? He's got, he's spraying chemtrails in the sky, destroying the environment his children have to live in. Who destroys the earth that their children have to inherit? That's right. That's a, he's a devil, man. And, 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 that, and see, and his deal is, is that, like, he loved to oppress Jake, man. And Jake, go after Jake, you know, go hard for the so-called white man, bro. Oh, yeah. Jake cleaved to everything that he says, man. You know how many of my family members went down there and got the jump shot because he said so? You see? Yeah, they wanted that. Hey, look. Hey, give me uh, Lamentations 4 and 17, Bobby for sure. I believe that's it where it says that um, they look for a nation that cannot save us. You know? Because our people, man, they trust, in, they trust in everything else except the Heavenly Father, man. You know? They trust in themselves. They are trusting themselves, you know? They're trusting something, a, a, a fairy tale that they didn't heard when their great grandfather was living. You know, shit don't make sense at all. You know, but that's what they hold fast to. The traditions of men too. Go ahead. Uh, it's the Book of Lamentations, chapter four, verse seventeen. As for us, our eyes as yet failed for our vain help, and our watching we have watched for a nation that could not save us. You see. Hey, 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 Jake is looking for Esau to tell him, you know, what to do, man. On all aspects of the board. You see? 
Whenever that stimulus check was popping, boy, he ate. Hey. <laughs> boy, Jake, hey, Jake loved to eat, man. Like, it ain't so bad. It ain't so bad. You know? Loving Trump. Yeah, loving Trump, man. And, and man, and look, bro. And, and this thing here, bro, and that's why two thirds of our people are gonna get whacked. You're gonna get taken out by the Lord. The Lord is gonna kill you. All right? If you don't repent and turn back to the Heavenly Father, man. All right? Because that, hey, bro, there's, hey, the Lord's judgment is finna be in the earth, man. And when the Lord's judgment is in the earth, everybody's gonna go and get right, man. This, uh, uh, Isaiah 29, Isaiah 20, 20, 26, 26 and 9. Baba Kusha, bring it out. Yeah, I got that. This is, uh, Isaiah chapter 26 and verse 9. It says, with my soul have I desired thee in the night, yea, with my spirit within me will I seek thee early. That's right. For when thy judgments are in the earth, the inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness. That's right. When the judgments of the Lord is in the earth, you know, then everybody's going to want to get right. Everybody's going everybody's to feel like, you know, uh, you know, they, 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 they want to pray unto the Heavenly Father now. You know, niggas going to be trying to erase their edge line. You know? <laughs> You see? But what, man? And hey, what the scripture says? Give me Judges 10 and 13, Baba Kusha. You know? Right. Go ahead. Is, uh, Judges chapter 10, verse 13. Yet ye have forsaken me and served other gods. Yeah, and that's our people. They have forsaken the Lord and served other gods, man. You know, here it is. Look at this shit. You know? Jake is getting ready for Christmas. You see? Go ahead. Wherefore, I will deliver you no more. Come on. Go and cry unto the gods which ye have chosen, and let them deliver you in the time of your tribulation. That's right, man. So whenever whenever all hell break loose, man, you know, and you can't you can't go to the grocery store and go get your pack of noodles and, 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 and your you know your pork rinds with hot sauce. You know, go cry to those uh, to, to the things that you that you was given care to, man. You know that you that you that you uh had your heart set on, man. You know, because the Lord ain't hearing it, man. Because what? Hey, the prophets are out, out on the street corners, week in and week out, man. In season and out of season, it's cold out here, and we still bringing it out, man. Because what? This is our duty, man. You know, it's either we preach this gospel or else. You know what I'm saying? The Lord is not hearing it, man. So it ain't gonna be no excuse for no Jake on the planet Earth, man, because the Lord said in Matthew the 24th chapter that it says this gospel shall be preached throughout the ends of the earth and then the end shall come. So that means everybody's gonna know it. So it ain't gonna be no excuse. Anybody got a precept? Go ahead, brother. It's the book. Oh, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. It's Joshua 24 and 20. If ye forsake the Most High and serve strange gods or strange powers, then he will turn and do you hurt. Hey, the Lord's gonna do you hurt, man. All right? Gonna air your ass out. You know, with a sword destruction, bro. And it's gonna be perfect. It's gonna be beautiful. I always say that the Lord created beautiful natural resources. You know, beautiful things like the, you know, Niagara Falls. You know, the Grand Canyon. You know, that's beautiful. The Lord can create a beautiful death. You know, righteous death, man because he's rewarding you according to your works. Because everybody's going to have to sit in the judgment seat, you know, before the Lord, man. You're going to have to pay for what you did in your body, whether it be good or bad. That's right. Go ahead, brother. And consume you. After that, he has done you good. <laughs> you see? So the Lord, hey, the Lord is getting ready to, hey, to bring forth his power, man. He's about to show you why you should fear him. You know, because everybody, hey, because what the scripture says in Micah, he says that does not a father have his honor, you know? Yeah, yeah. But, but where's my honor? Where's my fear? You know, well, yeah, well, why, don't, why, why, why you don't fear me? It's because the Lord has been real solid, man. But it's written in the place where the Lord said he will no longer hold his tongue touching their wickedness. Nah. Go ahead, brother. This the book of St. John, chapter 15, verse 22. It's in red letters. If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not had sin. <laughs> but <laughs> now... <laughs> But now they have no cloak for their sin. That's right, because Jake liked to say, man, I didn't know. Jake yeah, liked, yeah, Jake yeah. first, and first Jake, man, even my son some damn time. He was like, man, I didn't know. Yes, you did, you know? So it ain't gonna be, it ain't gonna be no, ain't no excuse out here, man. You know? 
So if the, if the Lord had not sent his prophets, you know, whom he speak to, then hey, you, you'll be able to have an excuse, man. But that's not so. You see? So hey, hey bring out that scripture, uh, the one I quoted, uh, the Lord will no longer hold his tongue. That second entrance with uh, eight, I believe, Baba Kusha. 15 and eight, man. You know? Just yeah, man. You know? Everybody been real comfortable, man. Go and get your strombolis on the weekend. You know, your toaster scooters in the morning with your, your cappuccinos. Go ahead, brother. Well, we got to bring it out. Uh, second Ezra, chapter 15, verse, I'll start at 7. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh, I will know, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness. The Lord will not hold his tongue no more touching their wickedness, man. And in one way he's not doing it, he's not holding his tongue anymore. And what we hey, we uh preaching this gospel to the two thirds of the nation, man. You know we condemning you also, man. Telling you to get your ass right, man. You know Jake walked around here all day thinking that it's a game, man. You know they know we under grace. All right, we gonna see because at the end it, it's like you have a light bill, bro. He, they'll give you that ten day grace period, but that bill is still due. You know, so the law requires everything that you're doing man you see and everybody's gonna get their judgment bro go ahead brother God, let me start the time since you said that this uh second Ezra 8 verse 15 behold speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which i will put in thy mouth said yahweh and cause them to be written in paper where they are faithful and true that's right man the words of prophecy and a, and, and a prophecy goes out that this kingdom was for, for many, but the kingdom to come is for few. That is a prophecy. And that is going to happen, man. All right? Just like the days of old, man. You had the prophets prophesying, speaking prophecy, man. It's what they was like the days of Noah. They were drinking, marriage, giving in marriage, you know, partying. Boy, YOLO. Murph. You know, big murder. Go ahead. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. That's right, man, because you're going to have two-thirds of our nation come up here to scoff, you know? Sir Scoffalites. Going to come out here trying to, de trying to denounce the gospel, trying to, hey, hey, coming with all types of folliness, man. But, hey, we are not going to let their unbelief trouble us, man, because it wasn't given for them. The mysteries of your uh, of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, and the kingdom wasn't given to them. So we, hey, bro, we, hey. We got to give all praise to the Lord, man, for giving us this knowledge to see the things that they can't see, hear the things that they can't hear, man. You know? It says, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Yes, man. All the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness, man. You know? So you want to you you, you wanna, you wanna hang out and smoke weed and thank Pop and a whole bunch of Zanny bars that's cool? You, you want to clap your ass? You want to walk around here with half naked, half naked attire on, man? Well, you keep it on. You, you keep on. You know, judgment is coming, bro. You see? I said, you know, just like the rule was saying that basically we're stiff neck. You know, we're not gonna hark. You know, our people are not gonna hearken to him. Like right. it was that group two around the thirtieth verse. Uh -huh. He said, "You're not him, but in the in the land of our captivity, we we'll remember." I said, "Is every one of our people gonna remember?" No. He's gonna keep them blinded. They're gonna basically go on and just continue going on trying to follow, follow who? The father the devil. That's right. right. We're gonna say John 8 and 44. Hey, give me Jeremiah 6 and 10, Bobby. Well, hold it. You hold what you got, Salak. Give me Jeremiah 6 and 10. Because your brother made a beautiful point. You know, how long is this gonna be? And the Lord's gonna tell you right now. This is Jeremiah chapter 6, verse 10. To whom shall I speak and give warning? that they may hear. Behold, their ear is uncircumcised and they cannot hearken. That's our people, man. They cannot hearken at all, man. You know? Because what, bro? They, they has not, the Lord has not given them the, the, the breath of life. So they remain in the congregation of the dead. Go ahead. Behold, the word of Yahweh is unto them a reproach. They have no delight in it. They ain't got no delight in the word of the Lord, man. You know? They actually despise the Lord, really, you know, because I, I got I got my biological brother. I, I like he's a real Yahweh hater. 
You see? And, and may the Lord air his ass out. You know? I chose my, what Joshua would say, I chose my side, man. You know, we going to serve the Lord. You know? That's me and my house. We going to serve the Lord. And, 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 and that's the bottom line, Jack. Go ahead, brother. He says, therefore, I am full of the fury of the Lord. Hey, <laughs> the Lord is pissed off. The Lord is pissed. You know? Is it, the world wasn't said to be ruled like this. You know? So that's why the Lord is pissed. Look at his, think about it, man. We are his, we are his woman. Look what his woman is doing. You know? That's why two thirds of our nation gotta be put to death because he's liking a, he liking our nation to his woman. Just think about your woman getting aired out by some other man. Look at our people who are serving these other gods. That's why he said, that's why he made sure the law, thou should not commit adultery was said up in the first 10. You see? Go ahead, brother. I am weary with holding in. Come on. I will pour it out upon the children abroad and upon the assembly of young men together. Uh, uh, pour out what? A good old fashioned ass with me. <laughs> huh? When you used to get back in the day. Remember back in the day when you, like the neighbor would beat your ass to send you down the street and beat your ass beat before you get home, the house before you get home? One of them, you know? Nowadays, you whip your kids, you going to jail. That, is that, if that's not oppression, you know, I don't know what it is. It's like your kids are ruling over you. All they gotta do is call 911, you know? Isn't the rod for the child, you know, for, for the fool's back, you know? Go ahead, brother. It's, a, it's, it's, it's written down further, it's further down where he says that, uh, you know, until, like, how long? It says until, like, uh, like the, uh, let me see it, brother. It's a lot. It's a lot. I thought it was Jeremiah 6. Yeah. Uh, that was, that was, no, it was it was Isaiah Salak. You right, you right, Salak, brother. Salak, Isaiah. This brother, this brother, quick. You know, because look, man, hey, the Lord, hey, glad that somebody got to be two thirds. You know what I mean? Glad it ain't us. It's Lord willing, we endure it to the end, man. You know, you found it, brother. Six and nine, oh, yeah, verse, verse 11. Verse 11. It's Isaiah chapter 6, verse 11. Then said, I, Lord, how long? How long will these dumbass niggas love simplicity, man? You know? Go oh, ahead. Yeah. And he answered, Until the cities be wasted without inhabitant, and the houses without man, and the land be utterly desolate. That sounds like thermonuclear missile destruction. You know, that's how long, man. They ain't gonna get right until then, man. You know. Go ahead, bring that out, brother. Go, you, you, that, that was it on that. Go ahead. Just back in Second Exodus 15, verse five. Behold, saith Yahweh, I will bring plagues upon the world: the sword, famine, death, and destruction. Hey, bro, Jacob's trouble right around the corner. Jacob's trouble right around the corner, man. A lot of people gonna die from that famine, man. You know, a lot of people gonna take the MOTB for that famine, man. You know, the Lord was bringing out, you know, I mean, it's like, it's written in the place, man, where it was so, it was so bad to where you had two women, what that is, Second Kings, the sixth chapter. You had two women that came together and agreed that, look, I'm gonna eat my son, we gonna cook my son this day, and we gonna cook your son this day, man. And, and look, and the scripture says, and they boiled them boiled him, you know? So you're gonna have these women cooking their children because of the famine. And that swore it, man. The Lord for to let this devil get loose with his blessing, man. You know? Go ahead, brother. It says, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. All right, go ahead. <laughs> It says, for wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth. That's right, man. Wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth, man. And then there's so much wickedness around here. Whenever you contrary to, they looking at you like there's something wrong with you. You know? Like, oh man, you're not cool. With, you're not cool with pride, man. You know? Hey, that's wickedness, bro. You don't eat. You tell a shorty, hey, look, I don't eat crawfish. Well, I can't talk to you. Chill on the beach. Yeah. If you don't smoke weed, we can't vibe. What kind of shit is that? You know? 
That's a wickedness has polluted the whole earth, man. Okay? Go ahead. And their hurtful works are fulfilled. Come on. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh, I will hold my tongue no more That's right. as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. So yeah, so the time of judgment is creeping up on us, man. The time of judgment is here because the Lord is tired of this. You know? But he had to allow the, he had to allow these uh these devils their rulership. That's why he's a just power, man. Even though he hates these devils, but he allowed them to rule, you know, the, the time they're supposed to, man. That little season. And then he's gonna be what? Cast out and taken out of power, man. You know? Actually, uh, before we get that, uh, real quick, before, uh, before we get into that, I can repeat uh, Revelation 11 real quick. 11 and 8. This is Revelation 11 and 8. It says, And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt, where, our, where also our Lord was crucified. Con, con. Because I wanted to bring this out because the brother made a beautiful point earlier how we're all being gathered together right before this great destruction. And we, you know, we have different camps here that came to Dallas. We have an actual a hedge of protection from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. This world is getting wickeder and wickeder. You got a, a bug out madman just across the street. You know, the scripture tells you in I, I think in Isaiah 33, 6, Bible Bashan, the scripture tells you that the wisdom is gonna be the stability of our time. And you can see these people getting more and more bugged out. They're getting more and more crazy. Jake is just complaining every day about, you know, everything, the price is going up. Everything the prophets have been saying is gonna happen. The more we get closer and closer to the day of the Lord, the more brothers are rejoicing, the more brothers are becoming more brotherly, becoming more spiritual, and the more carnal these people are getting. The Lord is making a separation. There's a division between the one third of Israel and these degenerates, man, the dross. Get that real quick. It's, uh, it's Isaiah chapter 33, verse six. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of Yahweh is his treasure. Right, the fear of Yahweh is his treasure, man. Our treasure is in the name Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. All right, he's the savior, he's the deliverer. Our deliverer is not Joe Biden. Our deliverer is not Donald Trump. Our deliverer is none of these heathen. The brother went into lamentations, man. Our people are constantly looking for somebody else to save them other than a savior. All right, you can't save yourself. Money can't save you. All right, your baby mama can't save you. For you family man, Jakes. All right, the Lord is the only savior and you have to make your body a living sacrifice. Keep going on that, Revelations 11. It says, where well, also our Lord was crucified and they of the people and the kindred and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies three days in the hell and shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in graves. Right, and as we went into earlier, the dead represents the Israelites that are following the ways of the heathen because the heathen are dead. All right, when you look at a, a Moabite, when you look at an Ishmaelite, they're just dead. They have a dead spirit and they don't keep the commandments. Now, if you see somebody from another nation that has salt, that has flavor, and most importantly, that has a fear of the Lord, that's almost certainly an Israelite. All right, you have Israelites that look like, like so-called Japanese people, like so-called uh, uh, so white people, so-called Africans, but we've been scattered across the four winds and we're being gathered right before great destruction. So what, what manner of person ought you to be? Going back to Peter, keep going. It says, and they that dwell of Native Americans. Yeah. Native Americans are from the chosen people, the 12 tribes of Israel. You, you believe in the Bible? No, I don't. What do you believe in? I believe, I believe in the creator. What's his name? The creator that is the earth, the sun, the wind, the water. Who created those things? The creator. What's his name? Like, what, give me Proverbs 30 and 4. Proverbs He's the creator. Like, which Navajo and Native Americans that haven't been, like, abolished by... The so-called white man, the devil. He came here and slaughtered your people. Would you agree that? Okay, so why, why would God allow the so-called white man, the devil, to completely destroy your people? Why would he allow that? Okay, how's he gonna do that? He got to plan for That's true. Do you know his plan is located in the Holy Bible? No, I don't. All right, have you read the Bible before? No. 
Okay, get that Proverbs. Right, Proverbs 30 and 4. Who have ascended up into heaven or descended? Who have gathered the wind in his fist? Who have bound the waters in a garment? Who have established all the ends of the earth? What is his name? And what is his son's name, if thou can tell? Right, the Most High has a name, just like you have a name. He's not God. What do you mean? It's, it's my creator. Like, the person that is God. Or, well, like, what does the creator, word God mean? Our, our creator is... No, what does the word God mean? What does it mean? God is the person. No, oh, the word God means power. It means judge. It means ruler. Honestly, like, think. But honestly, our, our creator is like someone that is earth, water, fire. No, earth has air. a creator. Air has a creator. Honestly, give me, give me like, Psalms uh, 100 verse 3. I'm, I'm going to read this for you. Your no, brother's no, going to no, read no, it. No, no, let me know if you agree with this. Let him read it. Let me know if you agree with it. Let him read this real quick. I just want to know if you agree with this. It's a yes or no question. What? What? You know? First of all, this is our platform. You're hey, coming up I, here I asking questions. Shit about then you can leave. You know? Then you if, can leave. You're gonna say you can go up the street. Hey, can I fucking talk? No. You no. could. So, we oh, were talking. So then you okay. disrespect. You know. But if you don't believe, though. Well, yeah, you just, don't, you're you fucked out. Your time. No, dude. Like, if you don't I'm believe. Up every single morning before the sun rises and pray to my creator. Who doesn't have a name? Yeah. It's Mother Earth. Mother Earth is the you pray to a woman? Honestly, you don't yell. Not Read that real quick. Right. Just listen to this. Just listen. No, no, no. You right. don't just know listen. nothing listen. about Navajo. Psalms 100 and verse 3. What is the word Navajo? You don't know nothing what about Navajo. Navajo mean? Hey. All right? Calm down. I'm a Marine. Calm down. I sacrificed my country. You're a Marine? Yeah. Yes, sir. You fought for the so called white man after what he did to your people? Hey. I served my fucking country. You served the so-called white man who Bro, decimated you, your you people. You better back the fuck. Hey. You, you just admitted he, he destroyed no. your people. He did, but you know what? To fucking live, like, honestly, you guys are over here protesting, do what you guys got to do. Right? So we just honestly, honestly, you guys live in a free country, right? Because of him. You guys are living in a free country, right? This is not a free country. Brother, this is not no, a free no, no, brother, what's the issue? It is, it is a free country. No, it's not a free what's country. The what's the issue? Bro, bro, like, if you guys don't see a free country, like, this is... You just general. worked up, that's all. Yeah. No, 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 dude. No, this is a free country. Are you inebriated? I'm on drugs. Bro, I'm in America. Okay. You're an so, Israelite. Honestly, dude, like, this for, give you, like, you guys are speaking your peace. You guys are speaking your, like, you guys are. Go ahead to the name of the Go to the chat. Yeah. White people. Why did God allow you to have it? Because they want to die. Why did God allow you to have it? That's what we right. You don't know? Well, that's why we got here to take. Right. That's why we're here. That's why we're here to take. But right. honestly, dude, right now, can we can we pull out the precepts for you? But honestly, right now, for you hey, guys, put a preacher up. A group, group the fourth chapter. But hey, honestly, boy, honestly, right I now, it, I honestly, it. right now, I understand if you gotta calm down. Honestly, no, 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 right now, what I fought for, and my grandfather fought for, and my sister fought for. Go ahead. For you, chapter four. Honestly, hey, 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 hey. Relax. Free, free guys says, says, Relax. Oh, Israel, happy speak. are we. No, shut up. For things for that are pleasing speak. to God are made speak known speak unto us. Country. Be know? of good cheer, my people. The memorial of Israel, you were sold to the nations, not for your destruction. The reason why our people went to captivity, including the Native Americans, because in the ancient world, we want to find out the law set your commandments. So we were brought into captivity. Yeah. Now we are awakened. Now we are awakened and we're telling our people, the so-called Negro, Latino, Native Americans, hey, the reason why we were brought to that, into captivity and, 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 the, and, and the hatred that we had to endure, I get it, it hurts. Because we want to find the will of the Heavenly Father. So we are here to tell our people to come back to the Heavenly Father. We are here to give our people an understanding, not fight. 
I'm not here to fight, bro. Oh, no. We're not here to fight no. you. No. All right? You are a brother, man. But honestly, I feel Go ahead. For... Keep on going. But, but honestly, honestly, hey. You got to let the scriptures come out, please. Yo, yo. Can no, I, no, can no. I, can I, can I talk? No, can you got to let, let the scriptures come but, out first. But, no. Go but ahead. I talk for you. you were sold to the nation. I talk to you not for to have to this free speech. But no. because we moved God to wrath. That's right. Our people was, was, was brought into captivity because we moved God to wrath. For honestly, our for our uh, rebellion, no, and that's yeah. why, and that's why, two but thirds honestly, of our, honestly, and, but honestly, honestly hey. two thirds of our people they don't want to hear that. But and American, that's why a lot of our people are going to be destroyed. But but honestly, you a lot in, of our people are going to be destroyed in that third world. Right. You live because in America, our people are very hard headed. You live in America. We live. Where you this, can do this. this is no. There's plenty of. You first off, hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait. There's, you're, there's you're plenty in the of places. There's plenty, in the plenty of places where you country. can do this. You're in a first world country. There's plenty country. of places where you can do this, bro. Honestly, if you're in a third you're in, world country, there's plenty of places you where you can do this. You're not doing this. No. There's plenty you of places. Going out and shooting but people. guess what? There is no if. It's only what is. And the most I got is out here. No. So if you want not the white man. So if you want to. If you love the white man so much, go out the street, man. That's right. So if you want to do love, you're on pressure, man. I ain't on pressure. Hey, 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 get, get us, go, get Isaiah the 30th chapter, man. That's how people love oppression, man. A fraud. Not even. Not even. A fraud. Not even. You love, you love destruction. Right. You love the people who destroyed you. Right. Your people. Not even. No. No. Oh, oh, oh. No. Uh, Isaiah the 30th chapter, I'll start at the top, verse 1. It says, Woe to the rebellious children, say of the Lord. It says, Woe to the rebellious children, say of the Lord. Right, that's a rebellious child, man. That's an Israelite, all right? You so called uh, black only Israelites, that guy's clearly a nigger, man. So called Native Americans are clearly our people. For better or worse, yeah. and when you read Zechariah, two thirds of our people are going to be cut off and die. That includes two thirds of you so-called Native Americans and Latinos. Y'all are included in the prophecies and the judgments of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai because you're also included in the transgression of the covenant. You made a promise to keep the commandments, and you broke. You broke those commandments just like the so-called Negro. All right, you're not better than us because you have lighter skin. You're not uh, a heathen just because you've uh, you've been intermingled. All right, you're still an Israelite, and you're still going to be held to the same standard of an Israelite man. And our people, hey, keep, keep reading it again. Woe to the rebellious children, say of the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me. Right, our people take counsel of everything except Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. They take counsel of the United States government. They take counsel of Christianity. They, they take counsel of Esau, because he's in power. They don't believe in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. That's the first thing he said when he came up. He doesn't believe in the scriptures. But if Esau writes something in a book, he'll believe it then. Keep going. And that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit. That cover with a covering, but not of my spirit. You're supposed to be covered with a double garment of righteousness, but our people are covered with a double garment of iniquity, of folly, of patriotism in the so-called white man's country that destroyed your people. How the hell are you a Native American coon, man? You, you walk, this is your land. Yeah, he yeah. stole your land and wrote a song saying, this land is your land, this land is my land. How you steal somebody's house and then say, this is our house. This is my house, this is your house. What? And then you go fight for him. Yeah, then you go fight for his army. Yeah, he puts you and your people, you know, which is our brothers and sisters though, put them on reservations, man. You know, say here, here's your little piece of the land and all this is ours, you know? And, and, and if I can add, you know, and if I can add, and then you go and fight and defend the Constitution that counted you as three-fifths of a man. That's right. Yeah, right. You know, you're going to die overseas, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Defending the Constitution that counts you out, bro. Madness. Yeah. Madness. There's no excuse for that, man. You get a... Uh, oh, you got it. Oh, you got it. Oh, you got it. Oh, you got it. This is uh, Jeremiah 2 and 14. We learn that this ain't, we, ain't, we ain't out here for fun and games for playing around with people, man. That's right. You know? We out here, we preaching. You know, but the most high has got us in war mode. We in war mode, man. This is war out here, man. At first it's spiritual war, but we ain't we ain't finna sit up here. This ain't this ain't the 1960s where y'all gonna just spit on us and, and put ketchup on us and shit. Well now nah, we ain't doing that no more. That's right. We shall overcome.
Yeah, we shall, you know, we ain't doing that no more, man. Them days played out. It's time for victory, man. That's right. You know, it's time for victory. <laughs> In all types of ways, man. <laughs> You can catch some four-way beats too, all right? You know, and sometimes I ass whooping is spiritual, right? I'm gonna say I'm sorry. Get your goofy ass up the street. Anyway, continue with this beautiful sermon. Jeremiah 2 and 14, is Israel a servant? Is he a home-born slave? Why is he spoiled? Right. Why is he spoiled? Because he's a homeborn slave, man. That, that guy that came up that didn't believe, he's an Israelite. So he's in total transgression, like the brother went into earlier. How do you feel when your woman is dealing with another man? You want to put her to death because that's in the law. Now, when you read Deuteronomy, the 22nd chapter, if your wife is dealing with another man and she doesn't cry out, she doesn't scream, then she's with it. She's consenting to it. So when the so-called white man put our people in slavery, you only have one third that are crying out. The scripture says, cry aloud, spare not, man. We're crying to our father, how wish I now would deliver us? Deliver us from this devil, man. But two thirds, they're with it. They're, they're quietly consenting. They just have their legs in the air like a Lambo, man. They just got their legs up. That's, that's, that was a nigga right there with Lambo legs through the spirit, man. He's all about the so-called white man running a train on him, and, which has already happened spiritually. And what goes on in the military, man? All right, Esau's dealing with children. He's, he's dealing with other men. That's the same thing that happened in the Roman army. Just nothing but freakism. And he, you could tell he was just like bugged out as soon as he came up. But, but spirits are being roused up, man, because like I said earlier, the Lord is making that division between the one third and the two third. Get that in uh, Zechariah, Bible, uh, 13 and 8. The Lord is clearly defining who he's dealing with and who he's not dealing with. You can clearly see through the prophecies who's been right all along, all right, who's been right about the, the karagma, that grain of rice, all right? It was the prophets of great millstones starting with our apostles. And then you have a bunch of reprobate Israelites, but niggas in fringes, man. And they've been getting worse and worse and worse. Their doctrines are getting worse. The, the minds of the people are getting worse, all right? The, the level of degeneracy has reached its heights, man. But guess what? The level of brotherhood and, and fellowship is also reaching its heights. The Lord is clearly making a separation. You got it, Doc? It's Zechariah chapter 13, verse 8. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. Right. It says in all the land. That land is talking about the daughter of Babylon, America. Right. right? Because you have Israelites scattered across the four winds that are not included in this. They're going to be gathered from the chariots. All right. When New Jerusalem comes down from heaven, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, we're, we're going to have, he's going to glorify his men with new bodies. He's going to glorify his men. He's going to make us the weapon, a battle axe and a weapon of war. And we're going to put these heathen in slavery, man. But before that happens, this is going to happen. Go ahead. But the third shall be left therein. God. And I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried. Right. And that's what this ministry is for, man. It's for the perfecting of the saints. Going back to uh, Ephesians, the fourth chapter. We're being perfected right now. We're being tried as gold in the fire. So when that day comes, we're going to have a perfect mindset because we're going to have the mind of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Who's the number one ruler? Who's the judge over the earth? Which, as we went into in Sirach the tenth chapter, that government is going to be on his shoulders. Matter of fact, we get uh, Isaiah nine and uh, six. This uh. is Isaiah chapter nine, verse six. Uh. It says, "For unto us a child is born." Right, unto us the Israelites a child is born. This prophecy is not talking about uh, the nation of Israel because the nation of Israel is the us. You got bugged out Old Testament niggas that say Yahweh is not in the Old Testament. Who's this talking about? <laughs> uh, well, unto us a child is born, <laughs> unto us a son is given, a son is given, a and the government shall be upon his shoulders, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty Power, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Right, the right. Prince of Peace, man. No trust in that. So. It says, upon his shoulders will be the government. Now, we read in Sirach the 10th chapter that uh, the government of a prudent man is well-ordered. Everything is supposed to have an order. All right, when you look at uh, nature, which that Bozo, he worshiped Mother Nature, right? So when you look at nature, you see an ecosystem. You see, you see seasons, all right? There's a time, and uh, for, for everything, there's a time, man. Going back to Ecclesiastes, the third chapter. So if nature has an order, what, 
what animals have an order, but then when it comes to human beings, man, I'm just I'm gonna just do my own thing. I have my own opinion. I'm gonna just live life the way I want to live. No, the kingdom of heaven is gonna be a well-ordered government. Yahweh is gonna establish a nation of kings and priests, and the job of a priest is to discern between right from wrong. All right, good and evil. Do this, don't do that. This is profane. This is holy. That's the job of a priest. And we're supposed to be a nation of kings and priests. We're supposed to be. But two thirds of our people, again, they don't want the kingdom of heaven because they love, matter of fact, get a John 3 and go to 19. Our people love wickedness. They love the so-called white man so much because he allows them to be degenerates. He allows them to be sexual deviants. He allows them to be drug addicts. And most importantly, he allows them to be niggas. Jake really loves being, Jake loves that real nigga spirit, man. That, that soldier slim, that, that mid-90s thug Tupac image, man. He can't get that out of his mind. Even Jake, that's so-called in the truth, they're trying to be thug Israelites. They're trying to be real nigga prophets. They're trying to take the dross of this world and mix it with the holiness of the scriptures. And they get played every time. You can't mix the holy and the profane. It doesn't go together. As a matter of fact, once you love the, the holy, you, you're disgusted by the profane. Right. Starting with yourself, you look back like, man, I used to, I used to think like that. I used to do that. Hey, man, I used to live like that. You, you, you loathe yourself, and it, that makes you holy because a, a low and contrite spirit makes you nigh unto Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You got that, uh, that John? Yeah, I got it. It's John three and nineteen. You got one. Yeah. And this is the condemnation that the light has come into the world. That's right. That light is Yahweh Shai Mashiach. And as it tells you in Isaiah 8 and 20, if they speak not according to this word, it's because there's no light in them. They don't speak according to Yahweh Shai, so there's no light in these people. Why? Keep going. And men love darkness rather than light. Right. Men love darkness rather than light. They actually love uh, abominations. They love whorish women. You tell Jake you want a, a clean woman, a, an untouched woman, they look at you like you have five heads, man. Like, like why would I want a virgin, man? I want, I, I want somebody that's defiled. Should, I ain't trying to train a woman. Like, what? Some that's with experience. Yeah, I want, I want yeah. a woman with experience, who knows yeah. her way around yeah, the bedroom. Right <laughs> yeah. that, that's wicked as hell, man. You want to think about another man while you popping your woman. Like, okay, he stroked it like this. Yeah. I'm going to do it like that. I'm going to give it to a heart. Like, you thinking about another man while you with a woman. That's that's an abomination, man. <laughs> because their deeds were evil. Right, their deeds are evil, man. You can see the evil deeds of two thirds of our people. Are right, you have the new, the new spokesman for the two thirds, Charleston White. All right, every every like six months, Esau gives you niggas like a new leader, a new spokesman, yeah, a new king. Yeah, yeah. Who's just even more of a nigga than the last one, man? And this guy's a super nigga, man. He's like he, he revels in niggardry. You can see like how excited he gets being a nigga, man. The Lord is is angry with you, niggas, man. Verse twenty. For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light. Neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. Right. Uh, I, I don't want to join the camp. The camps are wicked. The scripture says they can't come to the light because their deeds will be reproved. Once you come around a body of spiritual men, the, the scopeo's on you. Spiritual men are going to notice if you're secretly addicted to drugs, if you're secretly, if you come to camp smelling like cigarettes, you know, you, you drop a black and mile out of your bag. <laughs> but you, you repented though. But you, you're still a nigga, man. A spiritual man is gonna, there's gonna be, there's discipline required of being a minister of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. We hold each other accountable, man. We're not in that spirit of Cain. I'm, am I my brother's keeper? We are our brother's keepers, all right? We rebuke each other, we rebuke ourselves. It's our, our responsibility and duty to make sure that our brother's making on a chariot. When Yahweh Shai comes back, he's not gonna stop and ask you, okay, did you watch enough videos? Did you, did you scoff against the prophets that I set up? Oh, you know, this this idea that the Lord is just, he hates all the camps, but he's dealing with some random Negro. He's, he's dealing with some random nigga on the comment board with an opinion. That's not in the scriptures. The true doctrine is connected to a body of men, and that body of men are going to be on the highways and hedges. It tells you in Jeremiah, your eyes shall see your teachers. All right, you, you can't see these niggas on the comment board with the, the, the letter avatar. They're telling you how to teach, telling you where to go, how to bring it out, who to talk to. Oh, you should have said this. You should have brought out, the, like, where are your works? But you got it, right? Okay, this is uh, 1 John chapter 2, verse 15. It says, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. Right, and that's plain, man. This is not a parable. This is not like, you know, the, the Bible is full of mysteries. It's full of dark sayings. This is plain. The Lord is telling you to not love the world or the things in the world. 
But Jake can't do that. Jake can't give up the world because Jake secretly wants this place to go on. That's why they get turned off when they hear about the missiles, about the destruction of this place. Because deep down in their mind, they, they really, they, you can tell them they're an Israelite. You can tell them the Lord is a so-called black man. You can tell them that they're a holy people. But deep down, what they really want more than anything is the 90s to come back. They want that 90s R&B. They want 90s hip hop to come back. They want, they want Babylon to continue so that they can go on being niggas. That's, that's the inner thought of a nigga that's not in this truth. You got it? It says, if any man love the world, the love of the father is not in him. Right, the love of the father is not in him because our father's holy. Our father loves righteousness. So if he set up, it tells you in Job 9 and 24 that the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So if we're under wicked rulership and the laws are being transgressed daily and you love this world, then you hate the father. Again, going back to Deuteronomy 22, you're married to a man or betrothed to a man and another man takes you and you're not crying out, which means what? You're with it. You, you're consenting to this other man who's not your husband. All right. The scripture says, I've espoused you to one husband. We're espoused to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. We're his wife. So for you to love Esau, for you to love Rome, for you to love the image of the beast is adultery. It's wickedness, man. There's no way around it, which means there's no love of the father in you. You can't say you love your husband, but you're dealing with another man. He's, he's making you scream. He's making you moan. But you, I love my husband, though. And women will say that. Yeah. They'll, they'll so-called, they'll, yeah. they'll commit adultery, but say, I love you, but still commit adultery. That's why fear is so important. All right, because if you fear the Lord, you're not going to transgress. If you fear your husband, you're not going to transgress. You can say you love somebody and betray them. You can say you love somebody and commit adultery on them. But someone you actually fear, that's going to cause you to, to stay on the straight and narrow and, and not look for the repercussions, man. That's why the Lord deals with fear. Fear is also a byproduct. It's like the byproduct of fear is respect. So it starts with fear, and then the respect comes after them. And what's the beginning of wisdom, Mark? Fear of the Lord. Fear of the Lord. Like if a, if a woman, if a woman, if a woman, um, if she don't want, if she fears losing you, she's gonna walk right. You see what I'm saying? If she fears losing you. You know, she's going to walk that straight line, man. I got a precept for you, brother. Look, this is Isaiah 4 and 20. I mean, it's Isaiah 5 and 20. It says, Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. They're plain. And that's, that's Babylon in a nutshell, man. That scripture describes this place perfectly. And, and two-thirds of our people, they love... Uh, calling wicked things good and good things wicked, man. Look what they say about Great Millstone. Here it is. We're the only people on the earth that are actually serving the Lord in truth and sincerity. The only people out of, what, 8 billion people? We're the only people that care about his name. We're the only people that, that make our lives a living sacrifice for the name Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. These people can't stand us, man. It is what it is. No, that was, uh, that was it on that, brother. Well, look, I, 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 I read, I, I read 21. It says, woe unto them that are wise in their own eyes and prudent in their own sight. Two thirds, man, niggas, that nigga spirit. Only God can judge me. Can't no man tell me this. Can't no man, that's, that's the black woman spirit, man. I don't need no man to tell me that. Like, you, you niggas really are in the spirit of your mothers. And really two thirds, again, we have to harp on this. Two thirds of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are about to be completely put out, man. We're gonna see you in the kingdom. You're gonna come back in the, those Hebrew huggies. And you know, we'll love you then, man. Like the elder says, man. So, yeah. Oh, perfect. Yeah, that's the, the elder Yakanai right there. Hebrew huggies. Yeah, so yeah. These people, especially our people, wicked, these hard headed, disobedient Israelites, these so called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, man, who get put to death out here. You know, like you saying earlier, the time of playing is over. You know, you had it your way for up to years, thousands of years now, man. You've been doing whatever you want to do. That shit over with, man. You know, all that's about to come to an end. You know, you come up here, you rebel against the men of the Lord out here. Cause like you're saying, we preaching righteousness out here. And we ain't saying, hey, you know what? I'm going to teach my son, you know, to be like you, man. He need to be a good soldier, you know? And the crazy part about it, my son, he's in the military, and I hate that shit, you know? I'm telling like, fuck that. Why you serving so-called white man? I even told him about that shit before he got in there. But, hey, our people don't want to listen, man. If it ain't got nothing to do with this world, they don't want to hear it. You know, they see the so-called white man, he's fucking uh, getting up in society. 
You know, he's he's been in the military. He come on, we get all kind of honors and shit like this. But we don't get those type of honors like people do in the world, man. You know, we spit on, people want to fight us, shoot us, kill us, all the above. But you know, but it's good for our people, man. Because they're going to get this work, man. We're going to bring that out. Okay. It's the book of Ezekiel, chapter 9, verse 4. Mm -hmm. And Yahweh said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Okay, what you looking at now, you're looking at the man that's sighing and crying, man. We hate the abomination that's going on out here. We hate seeing our people out here fucking committing all kind of wickedness. You know, we hate seeing our people in a lower state, you know? We hate this place. We hate seeing sodomites just floating up and down the streets, man. Women turning to men, you know, women turning to, you know, vice versa. You know, or you got uh, pedophilia, bestiality going on out here, man. We hate that shit, you know, with a passion. You know, and we know it's not going to change until this so-called white man is knocked down, you know? This is, uh, I, it's like you. I'll let it finish on time. Verse 5, it says, And to the others he said in my hearing, Go ye after him through the city, and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Good, yeah. Like that, uh, Gadite came up here, man. You know, he gonna get smoked, man. You know, he didn't heard the word. He got, what he did, what he don't know, he came up here and got judged, man. you know? He, and I ain't going to see what happened earlier, but, you know, he, he got judged, you know, hopefully uh, when this thing kick off, you know, just Jacob Trump will kick off, man. He'd be the first one, uh, that first shot, they'd be heard across the world, man. You know, he'd be made an example, man. You know, you're going to see the wrath of your Habashi Shimei out here real soon. That's right. You know, because you niggas didn't had a, you, you know, you didn't had an easy street, man. You know, you've uh, been able to say, oh, Lord, just forgive me. Or, you know, oh, I just don't believe in nothing. Yeah. You know, and you've been waking up. You know, you got money coming in. You know, so you think, hey, there's no most high. You know, hey, it's all Esau, man. You know, the so-called white man, and, that, and that's who he in love with. You know, you can tell he was totally brainwashed, man. You know, and it was sad to see him like that. You know, that man was finished. This is a, verse six. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women. Yeah, the most high, he's not going to, you know, uh, discriminate, man. He has no respect to person. He don't care how old you are, how young you are, man. Infants in the womb, you know, you got a fucking uh, walker. It don't even matter, man. You're going to get put to death if you ain't got that mark, man. You know, that's what it's all about. That's why we out here, we hoping we have it. You know, and everybody just walking up and down the streets, pointing, scoffing, you know, thinking, oh, I'm going to make it. You know, I just pray to Jesus, Lord, Jesus is going to save me. You know, it's crazy. All at once, we don't even want to hear it at all. Here it is, we actually are doing the work and we still don't know if we're going to get chosen, man. You know, and, and we are shaking our boots, hoping and praying that, hey, like you said, the scripture said, we prisoners of hope, man. You know, but people over here, out here, just, out here carrying on in this world, man, they ain't got a clue what's coming. You know, but here we are, we out here preaching this week in, week out, the sit downs, you know, the Shabbat classes, whatever to tell you what's coming, but everybody just take it as a joke. But you about to see what the real joke gonna be is gonna be on y'all here real soon. And I'm talking about our people and the people outside of that. You know the heathens. You know you gonna get a uh, steamroll out here real quick, man. Because this is funny. Yahweh Shah came in the flesh and they rejected him. Good. So Yahweh Shah back again through the word and they still reject him. So you're not gonna have yeah. no proof for your maliciousness, man. Good. You can't say you haven't heard it. No, because the Lord said uh, the Bible he comes in the volume of the book. So God. there's no cloak for you to say, well, I didn't know. No, you that same generation that rejected them back then in the flesh. Mm -hmm. See, so he always been among us. Now it's, it's, uh, it's spiritual now. You see? Yeah. yeah. And like I said, before he comes back, he always give a warning, you know? He's fair enough to do that, you know? He say, look, so you can't say you walk by, you had a good time, pointing your fingers, busting a big old gut, when you're up in these high rises and these apartment buildings laughing, you know, look at them crazy niggas down there, you know? Coming at the top of their lungs, man. What you're going to see is going to be a, like the scriptures say, you're going to know there's been a prophet among you, you know? Mm -hmm. You're about to see it real soon. Matter of fact, we're in the midst of it now. Okay. Isaiah chapter 65 and verse 12, it says, <laughs> it says, therefore, will I, oh, talk, actually, I'll start up. Let me start up. Verse 11, it says, but ye are they that forsake the Lord, that forget my holy mountain, that prepare a table for that troop, and that furnish the drink offering unto that number. Right, going into the wicked. You know what I mean? Going into two-thirds Jake. You know, like we're going into. It says, therefore, 
will I number you to the sword and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter because when I called ye did not answer when I spake ye did not hear but did evil before mine eyes and did choose that wherein I delighted not Hey, like you said, you're going to be number to that slower, man. Slower, it's lucky. You're going to get laid down out here in these streets, especially, like, I guess you get the Jeremiah 37. Kick it off with that, man. We're going to get straight into it with the sword. You know, because, hey, it's going to be a, it's going to be a nice day for the man of the Lord when we can actually see all the people that laugh and scoff, man, and see your brains blowing out out here in the street from these troops that's going to be on the street, man. You know, see flies coming out of your throat, you know, dying from the famine, you know? Like I said, we're gonna have a good, we're gonna have a good chuckle in that day. You know why you out here starving, scrounging around, digging in trash cans? The scripture say the man of the Lord is gonna eat, man. And the wicked gonna howl in vexation. You know, that's that's a real deep howl, man. That's like that's one of them uh, near death howls, you know? Pray right before the spirit ready to leave your ass. It's Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7. Mm -hmm. Alas, for that day is great. So that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, right. but he shall be saved out of it. Yeah, the elect gonna be saved out of it, man. But as far as our people on this sign here, outside the 104,000, 144,000, the one third of the nation of Israel, man, your ass is toast out here. You know, these people are coming out in droves, man. They're gonna lock these cities down, man. They're gonna roadblocks, checkpoints, all of the above. But hey, everybody that's out here, you know, they laugh and had a good old time, you know, pointing at us, trying to throw eggs at brothers, throwing water, trying to start fights. Hey, you gonna have, your ass gonna get laid down here, man. You know, it, like you said, the playtime is over. You know, we getting real close. The economy is collapsing. You know, it, it's over with. It doesn't matter who got in the office. You know, they had this big thing about the election going on. You know, talking about it's gonna be a big red wave and all that. It don't matter, man. The Federal Reserve runs the economy. You know, it's been negative GDP for the past two, three quarters. It's done. The Fed is steadily uh, increasing the interest rates. Man, this boy icing on the cake. This place is gone. You know, so he had this one dummy talking about, oh, this country, well, I fought for y'all to be able to speak. No, oh, hell no. This is all the will of y'all. How about you, me? I'm sure, man. It ain't had nothing to do with you. You're there peon out here in the whole grand scheme of things, Jake. Yeah, we got brothers all over the world doing the same thing you're saying. Yeah. He's saying, well, y'all can only do this because you're in America. Yeah. That's yeah. ridiculous, man. Yeah, them same troops he fought with, you know, thought they was buddies and comrades and all that. They're going to be the same ones gunning him down coming up here soon. You know, the mercenaries, Blackwater troops, yeah. all of the above. You know, you got the, uh, what, you already got reports of, uh, like, UN, NATO troops already on the ground. Like, New York, they got, uh, like, container facilities already lined up, man. You got the so-called, uh, more, well, so-called Chinese in there, which are the Moabites. They're in there, man, in those uh, camps right now, you know? So they just waiting on for this thing to collapse, whether it's the uh, the market, whether, uh, you know, it's another fake uh, T attack. You know, I don't know if we can say that now. You know, because of YouTube. You know, or another lockdown. Who knows what the case with it? But like you said, the scriptures say, we know our part, so we're going to prophesy our part, man. But the only thing we can do is tell you that it's coming, you know? And you, if you are on this sign, you need to get right. It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 51, verse 8. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her, take balm for her pain. If so be, she may be healed. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. God, hey, you can't heal this place, man. That balm, you know, he's talking about, hey, he's talking about the, uh, like these stimulus packages, you know, these uh, infrastructure packages and all this. You know, uh, they trying to, uh, you know, uh, tighten uh, interest rates, you know, trying to cool down inflation and all this kind of stuff. But nothing can heal this place, man. Babylon, known as America, you know, it, it's done. You know, this place is, uh, if you look now, I ain't never seen so many homeless Edomites in my life, man. <laughs> you know, it was a it was a, a rare thing to see a homeless Edomite, man. Yeah. You know, you always seen our people out begging, but now you got so-called white man out here begging. You know, that's, as a matter of fact, that's a real good thing when I see a so-called white man begging me for change now, you know? Yeah. He begging the poor now, yeah. you know? Pull yourself up by your bootstrap. Yeah, right. Stop being so lazy, you saw. 
I love it when I see anybody come up to me and tell me, you know, want to clean my windshield. No, you can't clean my fucking windshield. Get out of here, you know? You're dirty. I teach you like the trash in the street now, it's man. Right. And that's how you got to be in that mindset, man. You're about to rule over these people, man. These fucking right. heathens. You know? And so-called, you know, Chinese, they've been with the so-called white man, man. You ain't escaped from it either. You know, Ishmael. I hear selling the people these fucking badass meat out here in the stores. You know, I what well, two, three years ago they kicked us out the restaurant. Yeah. Fucking dirty uh, you know, it's yeah, like, we were his first customer. Yeah. Put him on. <laughs> like literally his first yeah. customers. Yeah. His first customers <laughs> in his restaurant. And brothers, you know, we rolled in there like nine, ten deep. Yeah. We're not spending no twenty dollars, man. You know? Mm -hmm. it, he's like, yo, you gotta get out the store, y'all paid the ghost, y'all can't sit here. Yeah. He's a complete degenerate, man. And, you know, we claim them through the spirit, he's gonna be uh, a very uh gonna have a lot to do in the kingdom we'll put it that way yeah you're gonna get a good stomping man you know he's gonna you're gonna really see that uh the most high didn't choose uh hagar's son man you know you're gonna fucking see that here yeah the scriptures call them hagarines man yeah uh -huh. like that's every nation is named after a man a patriarch and then uh when you read psalms 83 he calls them hagarines man like yeah. i'm gonna just call you all by hagar yeah, you call you like your damn mama now yeah. you know you, ain't nothing. you know what i'm saying right. This, uh, this Deuteronomy 30, verse 7, And Yahweh thy power will put all these curses upon thine enemies and on them that hate thee which persecuted you. Yeah. As you see, uh, that bad state that we in right now, this low level, it's going to get switched on you damn heathens, man. You know, and matter of fact, it's gonna, you're going to get that work double, man. You know, you're going to be in a very low estate. You know, especially he's a, he's a so-called white man. You know, you're going to go back to those, uh, if we even allow you to have juniper roots, man. You know, that might be too much. You might just give your ass mud cakes, man. You know? Mud, yeah. yeah, mud cakes. With broken glass in it. Yeah. Eating lice again. Yeah. You know, you're going to go back to all that. Like you saying, you will eat Z-Bugs. Guess what? You got to eat Z-Bugs, man. Yeah. You know, you're going to do all that in the kingdom, man. You know, whatever we all want, you get in the scrap. Like you gave, uh, you know, the so-called Negroes on the plantations damn guts, chitlins and all that kind of shit. Yeah. You know, you gonna get the worst of the worst, man. Like, uh, it's gonna be pretty much apple, man. You got it, brother. So, Baruch chapter four, so verse 30. Take a good heart, O Jerusalem, for he that gave thee that name will comfort thee. Mm -hmm. Miserable are they that afflicted thee and rejoiced at thy fall. Miserable are the cities which thy children serve. Miserable is she that received thy sons. And who was that she? He was talking about uh, Babylon the Great, that, that whore. Okay? He's Edomites. Now, like the ones going into, they're miserable now. Now they're two town losers. Now America's falling. Now, now you see a whole bunch of Edomites walk around here begging for change. It's going to continue on to the kingdom, man. The most high is doing the paradigm shit. He's switching everything back around in the rightful uh, positions, man. Because right now it was princes walking on the ground and servants upon horses, according to Ecclesiastes 10th chapter. But now the most high is switching it back around. Okay, America rejoices thy fall. As it says in Revelation 11 chapter, how they sent gifts. As they did, they sent postcards that Jake Ben lynched, man. They celebrated, screaming from ear to ear whenever they lynched uh, uh, the Israelite, man. You know, they was having a good old time. You know, pickling Jake's rods, Carl having a picnic, pick a nigga. So they was having a good time at the, at the fall of our people, man. But now they're, they're being turned around. Now their kingdom is falling. Now they're being miserable. They're losing. They're women that turned upon them now. Like our women hated us and wouldn't ride with us. Now you see the Edomite woman not fucking with the Edomite man now. You know, so everything is being switched. Uh, for as she rejoiced at thy ruin and was glad at thy, of thy fall, so shall she be glad of her own desolation. For I will take away the rejoicing of her great multitude, and her pride shall be turned into mourning. And that's what we see now. Everybody is unhappy. Edomites are mad as hell now. A lot of, a lot of brothers got better jobs than Edomites now. It's not like the 20s, 30s, and 40s where it's like the Roaring Twin where they doing the Charleston and all that shit, having a good time, living it up. Hell no, these Edomites walk around with an attitude now, man. Their pride is being brought down according to prophecy, you know? They're becoming the new niggas. Yeah, that's it. They're becoming the new niggas, you know? It's a beautiful time to be alive, man. It's a beautiful time to be a prophet. And very soon it's going to be a beautiful time to say, I told you so. All right, going back to Ezekiel 33. Oh, yeah, you bring it. Let's start out a couple of shoes.
It says, Ecclesiastes chapter 10, uh, verse 5. There's an evil which I have seen under the sun, as an error which proceeded from the ruler. Folly is set in great dignity, and a rich is set in low place. I have seen servants upon horses, and princes walking as servants upon the earth. Yeah, you know, you speak on that. Uh, uh, yeah, you see it, uh, well, you see how it, it, it's been switched. You know, uh, the, the ones who are supposed to be the servants, they own the horses, and, uh, and the ones who are supposed to be the princes, you know, we're walking. But in these last times, you're starting to see that switch, which is what you brought out in that Deuteronomy, by them bringing these, uh, these uh, curses upon our enemies. The scripture says, says that the elders shall serve the younger. You see, but here in this society, the Lord has given us devil dominion. So now what he's ruling, you know, he's in that he's in, in that horse represents a seat of power. You know, he said he's setting power right now. All right. And so what he see, he see, he see us walk. The scripture says, read that again, brother. It says, uh, I have seen servants upon horses. Servants in power, go ahead. And princes are walking in service upon the earth. You know? Because right now, what? We in subjection to the so called white man, bro. This nigga tax our taxes. You see? He's a real nigga. You know? And he showed you who the damn servants are, man, with that uh, Theodore Roosevelt statue. Yeah. You got the southern and the northern kingdom, man. You know, he was that servant on that horse, man. He had the princess in captivity, man. You know, but you get dummies like this up here want to contest that, man. You know, all this, what this devil has done to you, you know, and still doing to this day. You know, he causing hell all kind of get up in Canada, man. They up there, they just go missing. But you having a great old time, man. Just, oh, I'm serving my country, you know? This place don't even give a fuck about you, man. You never have. Yeah. Uh -huh. Stolen land. This is his land. Yeah. Like, man, yeah. Who wants to be uh, oppressed on their own land, man? What kind of sense does that make? The scriptures say you oppress a man in his house. Yeah. In his heritage. Every field. Yeah. And if I could add, brother. If I could uh -huh. add. Uh oh. They got this. They got this. Um, this little resort, man. Where we from down in Louisiana? They give these gadites a certain amount of money. You know, every so often. You know, and Gad, they forget about everything, which goes into what a gift destroyed the heart. You see, so 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 Gad, you know, and what, what Gad do? Gad fucked up, man. All what they do, they take that money. I mean, they give them thousands of dollars, and they take that money and they just drink it all away. They just drink, they just get fucked up, you know, until they get the next the, the next check coming in, man. They put them right there in a the little corner, man. I'm telling you, it's like a lot of, them, you know. Got it. If I can add to what the brother just said, then that's a continuing uh, uh, story. Because uh, when they took Gad down, that's what they gave him. They gave him what? Fire water. Right? That's what they call it, fire water, yeah. right? Strong liquor to subdue him. Because most, uh, 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 you know, our brothers, they can't take alcohol that well. They get drunk like they take two or three sips. It goes into their system because they're not really built to take that kind of alcohol. So that's what they call it back then, firewater, and they're keeping that same story going. Yeah, yeah. And that's what he does, man. He so brings depth. You know, he don't bring anything good, any value to anybody, man. You know, he's that uh, the cancer of the earth. I was going to say that, man. Go ahead. This is uh, Sirach chapter 10. Uh -huh. Going right back to where we left off. It says, verse 8, because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. Yeah, and that's how Esau, man, that's how he operates the deceit, man. He had all these treaties with the Gadites, you know, all the, you know, Reubenites too, man. He's like, hey, you know, I'll give you this and give me that. You know, or I won't invade this part of the land. You know, but guess what? He went and invaded it anyway, man. You know, he broke every single treaty. You know? He broke over 400 treaties. Yeah, uh-huh. And that guy's a, a so-called Navajo, man, which means he, he's actually the product of Esau's uh, unrighteous dealings and, and riches got by deceit. Yeah. He's part of the riches, right? The human resources, which is his people, and then the land. The land is your greatest resource, man. That's how you, you get crops. That's how your animals, you know, you can't do anything without land. Yeah. This man stole the hemisphere. Yeah. Yeah. Not a head, 
Yeah. We even joined to the song. Dad had the land. He saw came and took the land. And then they even made the song about, you know, this land is your land. This land is my land. From California to New York Island. And then it say this land is made for you and me. So he literally took the land and say, hey, it's mine too. <laughs> it didn't make you pledge your allegiance. Yeah. 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 It, didn't, it didn't make you pledge allegiance. And that idiot said we're free. Mm -hmm. Free people don't pay taxes, man. Yeah. All right, free people don't get up and go to work to pay basic bills, man. That's not that's not something free people do. Free people have other people work for them. Free people have slaves, all right? You don't get up and go to work. Like, first of all, if you're free to do whatever you want, why would you choose slavery? Why would you choose to pay taxes? Why would you choose to work for your enemy? Free people, that's another thing. Free people can get justice for what's been done to them. If you're free, that means if somebody fucks with you, you can go to war with them. You can exact your judgment. But we, basically, Jake is just stuck here talking about we shall overcome, which is your first sign that you don't have any freedom. If you take vengeance for what's been done to your forefathers, for what's been, uh, slacky, for what's been doing, done to you currently, you're going to get locked up, which means you're a slave. You're at the mercy of this man. If I can say too, and, and he, went, he fought, you know what I'm saying? He, the Lord, he say in the, in the law, you, when you fight, you know, you, you pretty much, you come here, you don't have to work, you don't have to do nothing else. You live, you, you know, you live like a king. That nigga still, you know, he got to go to work on Monday with a with an ass whooping on his face. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and he, he, he just in captivity like the rest of us, even though he's so-called fought for this nation. Yeah. Right? Scripture speak about a soldier in poverty. Yeah. yeah. The Lord hates that. The Lord exactly. hates to see a mighty man that goes to war and comes back and he's still poor. Right. That's, that's wicked. That's just one of a, a laundry list of things wrong with this society, man. Yeah. But it's the fact that he's probably going to be a fucking Of course. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. Of course. This is the back of what the brother said about Esau being a cancer to earth. This is uh, Sirach 10, verse 10. The physician cut it off a long disease. And he that is king, Salakia, and that he that is today king, tomorrow shall die. Yeah, and that man got to be exterminated, man. Yeah. Esau, you know, because like you said, uh, I think in Revelation 11 and 18, destroy those who destroy the earth, man. And you had to get rid of this man. Like Stan brought it up earlier, you know, causing all kinds of sinkholes in the land, digging, you know, constantly uh, destroying the wildlife. You know, he destroyed a whole damn coral reef down there. Uh, I forget exactly where, but he destroyed the whole damn reef, man. Just killed all of, you know, animal life down there. You know, uh, marine life, man. And that's what he does. He's all about death. You know, I'm sure that uh, one guy that come up here, he getting shot up with all kind of experimental drugs at the VA. Yeah. You know, he's getting the worst of health care. You know, and uh, like I said earlier, when uh, you here, man, and you're running the Esau Edom, man, he's all about oppressing you. He's not about building you up. You know, he's, he's all about destroying your mind, body, and soul, man. You know, he, that's how he gets off. If he can control you, man, that's how he got you, man. He loves it. That's what he gets off on. Like I said, he'll give a nigga a million dollars, ten million dollars. It ain't nothing to him. Money is nothing to so called white man. He's about that control. You know? That's what that, uh, the sea hip we all know about, man. You know? He wants to control you, man. I want you to worship him like the most high. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is Lamentations chapter 4, verse 5. It says, They that did feed delicately are desolate in the streets. They that were brought up in scarlet embrace dung hills. For the punishment of the iniquity of the daughter of my people is greater than the punishment of the sin of Sodom that was overthrown in the moment in a moment and no hands stayed on her. Oh, yeah, man, that, that's like it, what it say is plain. It pretty much it say for the punishment of the sins of Sodom, it was overthrown in a moment and no hand stayed on her, man. Pretty much meaning nobody came out and put their hand out to help us, right? When these other nations, they seen us down, right? They, they still, you know, continue to step over us, man. And Esau, you know, he know where we come from, high in our heritage, high in our, you know, our history, right? This nigga still want to be a demon and it continue to uh, perpetuate, uh, you know, a lie and our destruction. And, and, and you niggas that, you know, come up and hear the message, Y'all play into that, man. You want to further this rulership, which and, and fuck y'all, man. We getting enough out of that mindset. We ain't, you know, we ain't going for that no more. It's time for this thing to be over. Man. Sure. Okay. Okay. Right, this, is, this is Lamentations 2 and 15. It says, all that pass by clap their hands at thee. 
and hissed and wagged their head at the daughter of Jerusalem, saying, Is this the city that men call perfection of beauty, the joy of the whole earth? Yeah, we used to have that beauty, man, that glory. But now look at us now, man. Nobody wants to deal with us. You know, they see a so-called Negro Latino American. They look at you like, oh, don't, I don't even want to touch you. you know, don't even move around me. Man, but don't even move into my neighborhood, man. You know, everybody hiss, they point, you know, they shake their head like, oh, no, you know, just the fifth. You know, we lost that glory. We used to be, you know, the pinnacle, man. We was perfection. Like, they saw us, they saw the most high, man. Now they see us, they just see a bunch of niggas, a bunch of spicks, you know, tontos, coons. You know, that's all they see now, man. They see a bunch of slaves, really, when you get down to it, man. This is verse 16. It says, All thy enemies have opened their mouth against thee. They hiss and gnash their teeth. They say, We have swallowed her up. Certainly, this is the day that we have looked for. We have found, we have seen it. Israel is all the chapter 83 oh. now came together in one, one uh -huh. better to go, um, to go against Jake. We got it up. That's right. They, they all linked, they all they all came together in confederacy, you know, to, to take down the nation of Israel. That's why it's not just you that's gonna get your ass kicked, Mr. White Man. It's all of you. You know? So the thing is, is that with like it, um also when it says that the dogs came and licked the swords, you know, you hey, you all the all you heathens had us all in in, in, in you know in slavery. So therefore, all that has devoured thee shall be devoured. You know, you he doesn't got a lot to pay for, man. You know, but Esau, Edom, you're the only nation that's going to be rounded up and burned to a crisp. You know, but you other nations, you're going to get your shit kicked in too. You got it, brother. Yeah, like I said, they didn't swallow us up. You got it, right? You know, you know okay, yeah. hey, they have swallowed us up, over, man. They swallowed Israel up. Know, and they don't give us any mercy still to this day. We go into a so-called, you know, Chinese or uh, uh, East India, man. They ain't gonna let you slide with a penny. You know, they let you uh, hang outside their store and slaughter all day long. But little do you know, they work with the cops to get your ass arrested. You know, and it's all a one big joke on so-called Negro Latinos and their Americans, man. They all get together and oppress us. You know, so it's only fair that hey, we return the favor, man. Obadiah in verse 15 For the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen As thou hast done It shall be done unto thee Thy reward shall return upon thine own head Good. Hey, that's the reward, man The reward is slavery You know, you're going to get some back-breaking, grueling work In the kingdom of heaven, man Which is going to be on earth You know, it's not We ain't going to be in the clouds floating around You're going to actually feel that whip You know, you're actually going to feel that foot in your ass, man you know, you ain't got to worry about, oh, well, you know, uh, that was just a, a, a fable. You know, you know, Jesus is loving, man. He ain't gonna let that happen. You're gonna find out real, real soon, man. And then it's gonna be your worst nightmare on top of that. It's gonna be the so-called Negroes, especially so-called Negroes. They definitely don't want to see us again, you know, but so-called Negro Latinos and Native Americans, we all gonna get a share of, you know, putting a foot in your ass, you start eating, man. And they're the heaters, man, because you showed us no mercy, man. You know, so, hey, like you said, most high, you know, his spirit going to be in us, man, so we ain't going to be able to cut you no slack even if we wanted to. You know, we're going to have that anger, man. We're not angry enough. You know, we don't know all the stuff that, that you know, they give us a lot of stuff that we do know. But what about the stuff we don't know about you, Jesus? Right. As far as tells you in Ezekiel, the most high is going to put his fury on us, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was trying to get it. Like the brother said, we, uh -huh. we only have a small inkling of what this man has done. He's hidden so much of his history. You know, you have the, uh, the records of Columbus and these other devils. They have like personal diaries and memoirs and you read it. And you see it, they were just like just raping constantly, chopping brothers' rods off, doing all sorts of sick and perverse things. And those are just the things we know about. Right. What about the things they're too ashamed to write down? What about the things they're doing right now behind closed doors? We don't even know what we're eating. You know, you go to a store, it'll say chicken. Yeah. <laughs> it says chicken. Yeah. You know, Jake eating bat meat. Right. Jake yeah. eating plastic. They, they had a study come out like a couple of weeks ago that said the majority of people in America have plastic in our urine, man. 
So that means we're eating and drinking all sorts of just madness, man. We're gonna know everything that this devil did in the kingdom. So we're gonna be even more furious than we are now. You know, brother's angry now, but in the kingdom, man, you, when you look at the Edomite, you just might, man, it, it's gonna be, hey. Hey, this guy, <laughs> smile at you. Yeah, mm. off with his head. Yeah. This devil gonna look forward to the sex. <laughs> He's gonna look forward to the sex. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna torture him on the Sabbath too, but it's gonna be unrighteous. I got something for you. Uh, this is uh, Luke chapter eight, verse seventeen. Uh, I'll read it in the NLT. It says, "For all that is secret will eventually be brought into the open, and everything that is concealed will be brought to light and made known to all." You know, going into what y'all going into. You know what I mean? The beginning of that process is happening right now. You know what I mean? With us coming into this truth. You know, the men of the Lord. You know, doing the doing the uh, the the, dil the due diligence, doing the work. You know, exposing particular things. But like the brother is going into, ultimately, all the things that Esau Edom has been doing. All right, all the atrocities, all the wickedness, all those things are going to be. You know, the men of the Lord are, are going to know those things. You know, and that's when that fury kicks in. You know what I mean? And that's where <laughs> that real serious judgment is going to start to go forth. You know what I mean? You got it. It's uh, Jeremiah chapter 15, verse 33. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together, and all that took them captives held them fast. They refused to let them go. Good. And where we all oppressed at? Right here in Babylon, man. America. We all oppressed here. All the tribes are here right now, man. And we all being oppressed at the same time. You know, by the same villain, so-called white man, Esau, man. You know, and he's uh, you know, he's saying, you know, like, look at all that talk, go back to Africa and all that. But the scripture said he refused to let us go. You know, that fucking dirtbag, he needed us to build up this fucking shit ass society, man. This fucking wicked ass kingdom he got. Man. You know, he knows if you got the uh, nation of Israel and the uh, servitude and slavery, your uh, your economy or your country or your kingdom is going to uh, thrive, man. You know, so that's why he refused to let us go. So guess what? That's why we waiting on your house shot, man, to come back. You know, so yeah, the destroyer of the Gentiles is on his way, man. Right. You know, and he's going to free us from this devil, man. You know, that's the only man going to be able to buy us, man. You know, uh, fucking uh, Martin Luther King had his chance. You know, Al Sharpton, fucking Jesse Jackson, Marcus Garvey, all them dirt bags, man. You know, we was all, you know, Masons anyway, man. So, you know, yeah. They had their chance, man. You know, uh, he... You know, he, he can't do it either, man. Somebody, he, he the new Moses. He gonna lead us to the promise, man. What kind of shit is that, you know? You know, we done waiting on niggas, man. Right, you know, right. we waiting on the Lord, man. Right. You know? Like you say, he's a man that he cannot love, man. So he say he gonna come get us, he gonna fucking come get us, y'all. You know? And we got to believe that. You know? Uh, we made Esau what he is. Esau would have been nothing without us. You know what I'm saying? Black Wall Street, you know, and we separated, yeah. you know, and uh, we shined. We had our own bank, own school, we had a hospital, right? Mm -hmm. Esau realized, damn, we need them right. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> to, uh, to be rich, right. to be greater, right? So what did he do? He came and bombed us through, uh, 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 I forget what it was, like a... Uh, Military uh, uh, planes uh, and shit. Right, yeah, right, yeah. and bombed us yeah. just to put his back, because it wasn't our time. It wasn't our time, you know. Right, right. Uh, he can't save us. Only Yahweh Shemuel can save us, right? True. But he wouldn't have been nothing without Jake. Yes. Point blank. Period. Still look at all the inventions that he, that Jake came up with in this society, man. Right. From the cotton gin, the, the light, the computer, everything that that runs this society, even that traffic light right there, it all comes from Jake. So what is America without Jake? What, what is American music without the so-called black man? What is sports? Sports and entertainment. Who wants to see a bunch of Amalekites run up and down a court? <laughs> Nobody would pay to see that. Right. Oh, it's just scary as hell. Yeah, yeah right. Like, people don't see that. Yeah. <laughs> it's scary to say like a like an egg, <laughs> just an egg white by itself. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's Esau, man. <laughs> just the back, just the back up with the uh, with the brother saying. Uh, this is Matthew 5 and 13. 
It says, ye are the salt of the earth. But if the salt have lost its savior, wherewith shall it be salted? It is then for its good for nothing, but to be cast out and to be trotted on the foot of men. But just the point is that we're the salt of the earth, man. You ever try eating a bland chicken? You know, no seasoning, just put it in the oven. That's Esau Edom, man. If it wasn't for us, they'll still be boxing like this. You know, they'll still be doing this. You know? Job chapter 6 verse 6 Can that which is unsavory Be eaten without salt <laughs> Or is there any taste In the white of an egg Right and there isn't any man That's that's basically you saw Edom man That's a, a flavorless egg No salt no pep no nothing man Just an egg white that's really all these nations Man especially Esau and Moab They just have no no salt no flavor No nothing and let me get this real quick to back up what the brother was saying. This uh, you got it, right? this uh, Sirach chapter ten, verse thirty-one. He that is honored in poverty, how much more in riches? And he that is dishonorable in riches, how much more in poverty? So when you look at Jake at the bottom of society, we still set all the trends. All these heathen want to be like us. We have children around the world that look up to Jake, and and we're at our lowest estate. Just the lowest. Jake has ever been in history and we're still influential man you look at Esau he's got all his money he's still a cornball he's still a weirdo he's still his woman doesn't want to deal with him and he's rich he's at the top of the social hierarchy and nobody wants to be like him man so how much more when he's in the kingdom when he's living in caves when he's just a, the absolute scum of the earth that's a, yeah, that's, that's a good point bro because like, like 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 that precept just said you know even in our lowest state right now you know even though we're through all right, all the heathens still want to be like us. We're still the major driver of, of the American way, really. You know what I mean? Without like, without the media, you know, without, um, you know, uh, Jake celebrities, Jake athletes, you know what I mean? Uh, the so-called black culture, you know what I mean? Everybody's eyes are on us. And that's because we were, we're a special people. You know what I mean? And even Jake's outside of this truth, are benefiting from that whether they, they whether they know it or not you know you gotta move. this deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6 right. for thou art a holy people right. unto the lord thy power right and that word holy means you know uh separate right or or, or distinct you know uh, kodash you know what i mean there's a difference between the israelites and between all the other nations of the earth and there's no there's no debate on that there's no debate there's no there's nothing you can say about that the proof is in the pudding you know what I mean? You gotta go That's why we was able to endure all the things that we were able to endure. Because, because we're the Lord's people, man. Because that strength and that promise. So he, he made that promise that he's gonna keep us around. But that's the reason why. Because we were made we were made a special people, chosen by the Heavenly Father. You have a bunch of shots. Yep. Any, any of these other nations, all the things that, that Israel had to go through as far as various captivity, especially here in America, they'd have broke. Especially Esau. Esau, yeah. Esau lose their bank account. They'll take, they'll jump out the one and take a swan down, man. Mm -hmm. You know, they'll, they'll, adversity at all. Yeah, they 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 are they brittle as shit. They the most brittle nation on on the planet on the face of the earth, man. You know, they lose, they they kill the, the wife, kids, and themselves, man. It's over with, you know. Hey, just, just to back up with what brother was saying. This is this is Psalms 82 and 6. I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are the ch are children of the most high. So that's why it's hard to destroy us. Yeah. Because naturally in our spirit, man, we're gods, man. We're the Lord's chosen people. You know? The Lord said, what? Um, it's written in Jeremiah. You know, if the, if the moon shall don't give her light or the sun shall not rise, then he'll do away with his people. That's right. So that's how you know we're still here. And if we're still here, Edom is still here. That's right. You know? Yep. So you gotta go. yep. That makes me think about the precept that we brought out earlier. You know, in uh, Genesis 25, you know what I mean? It said, um, matter of fact, let's go ahead and grab that. We get uh, Genesis 25 and 23, right? Because not only did it say that the elders shall serve the younger, right? But it said that we would be stronger. You know, we would be stronger, you know? It's Genesis chapter 25, verse 23. And Yahweh by Shimei Hawashai said unto her, two nations are in thy womb and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. Right, talking about the nation of Israel and the nation of Edom, right? The two primary characters of this movie, right? You can't go into the scriptures and not identify, all right, the nation of Edom and the, and the nation of Israel. 
You know, that's like going to, to see Batman. You don't know who Batman is. You don't know who the, the Joker is. You know, you can't, you're not gonna understand it without without that. You know what I mean? What you got it. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people. Right, the one people shall be stronger than the other people, right? Talking about us, you know, enduring all the things that we've been able to endure. You know what I mean? None of the other nations, especially not Esau, Edom, you know, uh, could, could endure these things. You know what I mean? They can't do it, you know? And the elder shall serve the younger. Right, and the elder was, you know, when you go into that account, Esau was born first. You know, so it, it's already, it was already uh, predestined, you know, that Esau, Edom would serve us, you know, and that's going to be fulfilled in the kingdom. That's what we're waiting on, you know, makes you think of uh, Second Ezra 6 and 9, you know, for Esau is the beginning of the world, beginning or end of the world, excuse me, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, right? We're entering into the beginning that followeth, we're entering into that part, you know? That translation from one kingdom to another. Right. That's happening right now. The Lord is building up the kingdom of heaven right now. You're watching the kingdom of heaven. Abu Ratazal, all of us enduring to the end. The Lord's building this kingdom right in this, this devil's face. What does it say in Psalms? I will set them in order and not eyes. The Lord set his, his chosen elect in order and he's, he's completely destroying Esau. This, this is Second Ezra chapter 6 and I'm going to start at 6. It says, Then I consider these things and they were made through me alone and through none other by me also they shall be ended and by none other then answered i and said what shall be the parting asunder of times and when shall the end of the first and the beginning of it that follow and he said unto me from abraham unto isaac when jacob and esau were born of him jacob's hand held First, the heel of Esau, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of, of it that follow it. Right. Right. That's 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 the plot. <laughs> you know, we've been given, we've been given the plot, we've been given the words. You know, now it's time to apply faith. You know, now it's time to trust in Yahweh by Shimei that He's going to do exactly what He said He's going to do. You know, and and that's where the power is. The power is not in our hands, carnally. The power is in the word that's already been declared, that's already been spoken. You know what I mean? And, and, and it goes into like, because it says, like the brother made a point, like this is the beginning of it that follow it. Because what? The man of sin is being revealed. You know? Everybody knowing who this devil is, man. Everybody's cur <clears throat> cursing this devil out, man. You know? Because you're being exposed. You can't hide behind a social construct anymore. Right. All right? Nobody's fucking white. All right? And, and you know, like the masses of uh, people, the masses of Israelites is gonna start waking up, man. They're already waking up. That's right. You know? So, hey, bro, hey, this is, this is, hey, bro, this, this, this about to be epic, man. Yeah. All right? The strongholds being broken. I got a uh, this is Sirach chapter 36 in the GNT, uh, starting at verse 1. It says, O Lord, Yahweh, power of, or of, I'm going to start from the top. O Lord, Yahweh of the universe, or power of the universe, look upon us and have mercy. Make every nation stand in fear of you. Take action against the foreign nations and let them witness your power. You have used us to show them how holy you are. Now use them to show us how great you are. Con, con. And and man, these heathens are gonna be used as an example uh, to show his power, man, and to show his works. Even the niggas that you know are or the Israelites that aren't taking heed, man, they're gonna be used as an example for us to get straight, man. For us to get in order, man. All you people that don't believe, but when you see these niggas start dying and perishing of famine, y'all gonna believe in that day that the Lord it, it, it was not planned, man. Hey, bro, you do it. Salak, Salak. Hey, you read that again, brother. That in the part when it said, use us. Okay. Uh, this is Sirach 36 and 4. It says, you have used us to show them how holy you are. Now use them to show us how great you are. Right. You see? Because the Lord is working the work in our day, man. All right? He's using them. He's making them get all out of pocket to show that, hey, these guys been liars since the beginning, man. 
You know? Here it is, a man just made a tweet. And hey, hey, the, the whole world is in shambles now. You know? So the Lord, hey, the, the Lord is using hey, the, even the wicked, you know? So man, this is hey, we living in some beautiful times, man. That was beautiful, brother. Just to back up what you just said, this the book of Romans, chapter 9, verse 17. For the scripture saith unto Pharaoh, uh. even for this same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. That's a heavy scripture right there because that shows you that Yahweh Bashim Yahshai likes making statements. You know what I mean? He likes he likes doing things that make people really stand in awe and stand in fear of him. So the whole entire and when you go into the ancient Egyptian Empire, that was a that was a pretty, you know, that kingdom wasn't bad. You know, it was it's not gonna be shit compared to the kingdom. It's not shit compared to the kingdom, you know, but the Egyptian Empire was an empire that flourished for a very long time. You know what I mean? And it was considered, you know, uh, the pinnacle of civilization for a period of time. You know what I mean? So when Yahweh Shimei Al Shai made an example out of Egypt, it shook the entire world. You know, it shook the whole world, and that's exactly what's going to happen to Babylon the Great. You know, the, the brother made a, a, a point about an example being made. You know, there's a reason why thermonuclear destruction is gonna be used to wipe out this entire place, all right? It's gonna be an example for, forever, you know, to uh, on what not to do, on, on how not to behave, all right? On how not to run a kingdom. Just like Sodom and Gomorrah. Just like Sodom and Gomorrah. It's an everlasting memorial on how not to rule. Right. Uh, right. This is uh, two, one, and seven. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah, the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh are set forth for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. And, and like this place is called in uh, Revelations uh, 11 and 8, right? Spiritual Sodom in Egypt. You know, that's also what links up uh, the destructions. How we know that the destruction is going to be a thermonuclear destruction. You know what I mean? And, and, this side of my shit is getting out of hand, man. It's getting, it's getting, it's too much, you know. And the, and the, the judgment that's coming is, is going to be fitting, you know, because it's to the point, you know, where it's, it's, it's saturating every aspect of society, you know, the schools. You know what I mean? It's everywhere, you know. Johnny Free says, "Y'all got this, this is, this is Jeremiah 50, and uh." 35. It says, A sword is upon the Chaldeans, thus said Yahweh, and upon the inhabitants of Babylon, and upon her princes, and upon her wise men. Yep. Done. And you know that spiritually, you know that 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 applies to Babylon the Great, you know, for, uh, first and foremost. You know, the the Chaldeans of the ancient time, you know what I mean, are, are still at work today. All right, through these uh, Edomites, right through these uh, uh, high-level, you know, witches and warlocks, you know, uh, of these different uh, secret societies and things of that nature. If I can add, brother, it said a sword, man. So the Lord is coming through with destruction, bro. That's right. Whatever He see fit, but that ultimate Robert. sword will be thermonuclear missiles, man. Because the Lord said the third part of men, right? The third part of men shall be destroyed, man. All right. And the Lord is sending what his weapons of indignation to make the whole land desolate. Water, bro. You got it. Kind, like the brother said, you know, uh, a major destruction is coming. You know, the major destruction is coming. But not only is it going to be a physical destruction, all right, how about Shema is getting ready to break the will and break the spirit of these proud ass Americans, man. You know, people, like the scripture say in uh, 2nd Ezra uh, 8 and 50. Right, many great miseries, you know, shall come upon the earth. You know, these people are really going to be humbled on a level that we that that's never been seen. You know what I mean? Because they're so proud. You know. You got it. Uh, this is this, okay. this is Proverbs chapter fifteen, verse eleven. It says, "Hell and destruction are before the Lord." Right. Hell and destruction are before the Lord. Right. Not you know candy and. And handshakes and hugs, right? Hell and destruction are before the Lord. You read it again. 
Proverbs chapter 15, verse 11. Hail and destruction are before the Lord. How much more than the hearts of the children of men? How much more the hearts of the children of men? Right? So Yahweh Shem Al Shai is getting ready to break the will of these people. And it's going to be a beauty to see. You know? You got it, bro. Well, no, I was going to be the priest that after this. Oh, Khan, no. You got it. I was pointing. And this is Isaiah 24 and 8. It says, The mirth of Tabrich ceases. The noise of them that rejoice in it. The joy of the harp ceased. You yep. see? So yep. going into what the brother said, man. The Lord is going to break the spirit of this place, man. You know? Friday night turn. Hey, bro, it's a party every day of the week. Man. You know? The Lord is going to shut all that down, man. You know? There ain't gonna be none of that. You know, it ain't gonna be none of those. Go get your eyelashes done and your nails and your toes done because it's on. Drop your kids off at your mama. Yeah. You know? It ain't gonna be none of that. Right. It's gonna be a, a everybody gonna wanna get righteous. Right. You know? Everybody gonna have that uh, on the edge of fear. Like something big is gonna happen, man. Everybody's gonna have a conscience that their maker is gonna return, man. You know, this, his son, you know, just speaking, you know. But you got it though, bro. And, and you know you say that you no know, all these things is gonna quiet down and like you know when you think of a, of a moment when a, a very important person is making an entrance into a room like you know your boss went on vacation you know he come back and then you know it was all lackadaisical but then the day he come back it's kind of quiet in the office you know you know he there just off the energy that's how the lord is gonna make his return it's gonna be you know it's gonna be silent before he speak and this how he gonna speak this is psalms chapter 2 verse 5 it says then shall he speak unto them in his wrath and vex them in his sore displeasure. That's how he going to speak, man, in his wrath. All right? These niggas going to have to learn by, by, the, by the plagues that's coming. Yep. There's a saying in the what's like it, bro. Actually speak louder than words. Exactly. You know, we're out here giving you the word, but if you don't want to receive it, guess what? The judgment is going to have to teach you, right? The actions are going to have to teach you. Right? You know what I mean? But if y'all had anything, you know. Exactly what you're just saying, because like, we're basically heralding in the second coming of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. It starts with this word, and then it's going to end with the physical manifestation of Yahweh Shai. This is uh, Second Thessalonians two, and I'm going to get straight to the point. Verse eight, and then shall that wicked be revealed, whom Yahweh shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Khan shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. You know what I mean? That's that's what we're awaiting. You know what I mean? So, you know, Lord willing, this lesson was, uh, this camp was edifying. With that, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Double honors to the elders and apostles, Great Millstone. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.